four people listening to the VOD on YouTube and they're not going to hear the wonderful things that I ramble on about before I start the stream. You'll never know. That's because the stream starts in three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is a BNDO stream today on this fine 24th of April 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week and will have, uh, will have had future perfect. Uh, you will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week's been pretty alright. Um, nice and restful, nice and respiteful, and getting back into the swing of things, I guess. I don't know, I guess I got back into the swing of things last week. Um, but how about let's uh, swing into things like this thing. Here we go, okay. Wow. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Mwah. Mwah. Magnifiques. Everyone loves that, that PlayStation 1 just... The PS2 one, probably more people know of it, but it's just not as iconic. It doesn't have that same uh, that same ring. But um, yeah, no, this stream is going to be a continuation of Spyro 2. In the last week's stream, if you missed any of that, uh, that was the entire first world of the game. Uh, I'm probably going to put in the bit of effort and play the entirety of World 2. Uh, there are three worlds in the game. Uh, world 1 consists of six levels plus a flying level. World 2 consists of eight levels and two flying levels. World 3 is only four levels and one flying level, but I feel like I'm also going to spend a bit of time after the game uh, tackling on a bit of a post-game kind of thing, uh, as well as also a little bit of bonus goodies. So I feel like there's no better time than now. The time is now. So I'm going to put in the effort. We're going to get all, all this up. So this is, and I've tried my best, <laughs> we have not picked up anything at all in the second world. This is the win- the- uh, not the winter, the autumn- spring? Planes. These are some plain stuff. Uh, just like the, um, the first world, uh, the music is very, you know, synth drone, synth kind of going. Uh, I've already bought the, um, the climbing power down there, by the way, so, uh, no mystery on what you're getting. Um, but, uh, I guess, how about let's just go into a level, because I can go into all these levels. Uh, for the most part. I'm going to quickly go through the two levels that I can't 100% uh, when I get to them, but then I'm going to come back for them in the, uh, near the end of the stream, so you shouldn't miss out on any of these levels by then. Uh, now, unfortunately, the first world contained my favorite level in the game, which was Aquaria Towers. Um... <laughs> oh. Dead. Uh, I, I do enjoy this level. It's quite interesting. You can't talk to these guys until you thaw them out. Viral, the ice wizards have imprisoned and it's still Tom Kenny. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. <laughs> Colossus Valley is, uh, yes, the, um, <laughs> the level from the first world. So we free all these guys. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. Uh, I mean, it's more like a seesaw, I guess, at this rate. So I guess they'll, they'll seesaw from this side. The texture is very nice though. Uh, I like the theme of this level, even though it is a bit of a nice level. It's the fact that it's got like all these dinosaur bits around. I love how you got these ice wizards and they actually start to refreeze the guys as well. It's a very nice touch. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, the second world consists of... I mean, I guess it's kind of weird that it is a larger world than the first one, just for the third world to be a bit smaller. Um, for Spyro 1 who's generally a bit more evenly sized, and Spyro 3 will be a bit more evenly sized. Um, yeah, not too sure why they designed it like that, but you know what, like, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, all the levels are fairly evenly paced as well, so that's all good. Um, but yeah, no, I hope you've all had a wonderful week, uh, this past- oh, Watch! We'll help you climb this wall up ahead! We'll help you climb this wall up ahead! I can't, I can't do- how do you do it, Tom Kenny? How do you do it? I love how they just... And it's actually a platform. Amazing. You're just permanently there. Uh, these guys, you charge. I guess they, they are small, but they've got a little thorn on their front. It's a very odd enemy to charge. Um... Yeah. Now watch out for the side, because it's not exactly death. 
yet, but it, it, it basically is dead. Um, also, you, you may have noticed Moneybags down there. Kind of interesting, he's uh, wearing a different outfit to what he usually does. He's blue and cold. I don't know why. Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. A small fee? 200 gems, oof. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracoast that I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. Whole condo, jeez. Look at this weird snake bone bridge. And it just slaps there and uh, you forget about it. So yeah, so this past week, uh, one thing that has happened to me, and this is my story of the week, is that I have a terrible luck with hard drives. Every time I buy a hard drive, just about three years, you know, almost all of them die on me. I have been, uh, well not die, but they'll have seriously degraded performance. And like, I know, I know, performance degrades when the disc fills, but it doesn't recover when the disc unfills. It's just permanently in a, in a warped state. Um, and uh, especially you'll get those missed allocated, or like unallocated sectors, that kind of stuff. Um, as a hard drive technology thing. I'm not 100% sure what, uh, what exactly causes it, but every time your, your drive tries to read from those unallocated sectors, it suddenly goes, Oh wait, that's somewhere else. That means your data's not lost, but it really does hitch my work so hard. And especially, it keeps compounding. The moment I get one, it'll always just keep building. It'll keep building, and it keeps getting worse, and you can't fix the drive. It'll just, it'll just be like that forever. Um, a lot of the times, my drives will have done that um, after their three-year warranties. I've kind of been bummed that even, you know, NAS drives... Well, I guess some hard drives are only two years, but, like, NAS drives, three years. Uh, cheap silicon power SSD, five years. Just, it's, it kind of blows my mind that it's like, man, you know, we can't get hard drives to last longer. Also, I love uh, when you yell at these guys. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second and look out below. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here they go. Here they go. Whoop. And, uh, <laughs> bonk. Oh. <laughs> Ow. You think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head? Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. <laughs> I just love that by the end of the level is like doesn't even have the tickets. This is the other thing I thought was kind of weird is the fact that like he just traded hockey tickets for the talisman. The talismans were supposed to be the magical, like, kind of keys to the whole kingdom. And, uh... He, he just got it. For his... Hockey tickets. Yeah, I don't know about that one, but... Uh, a little bit more to this level. There's two little side areas uh, to get some orbs that I haven't explored yet. Only two orbs? Only two orbs. How many enemies for that? 38? It's probably the next area as well. I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draglets. The draglets. This is an interesting challenge here. Uh, rescuing George the snow leopard. Which macOS version was snow leopard? It's like 10.6, wasn't it? That's ages ago. Well, there he is. He's chilling. He's walking around. Uh, but he has one thing on his mind. Well, maybe a couple of things on his mind, but we saw it over here. So if you sit here, eventually, eventually, is it over here or is it back at the start? I think it might be back at the start. He's curious, he's watching. <laughs> well, don't drop in the water, but you get the fish, he just eats the whole fish. <laughs> Bones and all. Uh, follow him around. He's hungry for more. But uh, I guess they're using this flame the fish out of the water idea again. There 
there you go. Dude, this light is bigger than Spyro as well. Uh, but yeah, no, the hard drives, they they die too quick for, for my liking. Um, uh, quite often it's been just outside the, the warranty period and then it's like, well, I can kind of ask for the drives to be replaced. And sometimes it happens, but sometimes it's just, it's outside the warranty period. That's not really nice. Um, I will say I've got uh, three drives in my computer right now, hard drives. Um, two of them I bought in uh, 2019, which one of them has kind of gone to that one point. Another one has gone, uh, I've got in 2020, mid-2020, so therefore it is not, uh, it's not actually out of warranty yet, so I'm going to hopefully try and get it replaced. You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You good can old, have it if you like. Good old round shiny thing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll try to get that one replaced. Um, but I guess the, the general trend is, uh, what's the thing is like in enterprise scenarios, uh, not many drives die, um, you know, right away. But eventually after three years, it's like about 80% of, sorry, 80% of them live. So 20% of them die. And then in the next one year after that, uh, another, well, 20% of the overall pool. So I guess it would be down to 60% would be alive by then. Now this this bit down here, once you've killed enough enemies, these guys, I guess they don't drop. You just got the, maybe they only die at the end. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they are infested with multiplying draglets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. Do you think you can get rid of them for us? <laughs> it looks too so scary. Oh. Great! But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. This used to terrify me as a kid, especially if they got like three eyes and like weird little bugs. Uh, but it's not that bad. Basically all you gotta do is you gotta use the flying power, and then about like 30 seconds later, um, they'll respawn. That's kinda it. Um, so just have a go around and try and flame the wall, uh, but they can't hurt you. But if you if you run out of flight, then you're kind of screwed, especially by this end bit. And this is kind of the bit that they they want you to have the flying power by about now. I think it needs like 15, so you basically need it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, thanks. You see, they, they started this one over here. Which is a odd, but sure. We got him. And then they all officially die, and it counts as 18, 18 souls. Or spirits. But that's, uh, I mean, that's almost the entirety of the level. Pretty much the only thing I have to do now is just pick up the remaining gems down here, and then that's it. So nice and quick, easy level. Nothing really too weird in this one. Um, just a bit of dealing with ice wizards and that kind of stuff. It's got that typical kind of ice level music. But it doesn't really scream out to me. I don't think this is, like, really anyone's favorite level. Maybe it is. If this is your favorite level, I apologize. I just made fun of your level. Which is weird, because I do really like the ice path level on, um... Also, you can't fly up. It, it stops you flying really that high. It's high and Like, that's it. It's high enough to, like, get onto the bridge, but it's not any higher to go up here, so... Kinda odd. But yeah, nice and easy level. Uh... So, uh... I did mention I had two drives that I got in 2019. One of them is still alive and kicking, so... Um... I guess it's not all doom and gloom, but generally if it's like, oh, you know, like... 20% of, di of drives die you know, in three years, and then another 20% after, like, let's say 60% live after four years. I've had probably about, like, six or seven drives die before four years. Definitely before four years. Um, and I've just consistently not had a good track record for that. Uh, on the flip side, I have had uh, an SSD. It's been my boot SSD since 2012. Uh, I have swapped it out and have not used it as a boot SSD, but I've used it as a scratch SSD. Uh, it's a Samsung 850 Evo, it's like 250 gigs, it's not very big. Um, but it's got plenty of power on hours, it's got like 190 terabyte writes. 
which is like fairly high for that kind of drive. And it still reports like 58% health. Performs fine. I've got I've got another like MX500 that used to be my OS drive. Um, it's not as old at all, but um, you know that that drive's doing fine. Uh, so I was really under the impression that you know what is now the point that I could just start replacing the drives with SSDs, and the answer is mm, not yet. Not yet. We're not yet at that point. And uh, for me, the the bit that kind of got to me was um, I guess. You know, if a drive lasts three years, and they do last three years for me, they don't seem to be dying much sooner. <laughs> you gotta check the hammer works. Oh, and there he goes. Actual death. I wonder who did the whack whack sound. Hey, dragon. I hear you're pretty tough. I bet my cousin Glug you wouldn't be able to make it through Badlands without getting singed. It's kind of the same guy. There's actually, there's a couple of levels like this, um, in Spyro 2 that have like this kind of like pairing... How do I, how do I phrase it? As in, as in there's like two levels that, you know, in this case they share the same kind of enemy. Uh, or, or an allied character. You can flame these flying guys and they love you. They don't do anything this time. <laughs> they're just there. They love you. Uh, these guys are kind of interesting because uh, you can't flame them because they're fire. But you can charge them. Uh, watch out for these big cacti, by the way. You want to be able... You want to get all of them. as a skill point involved. Oh, I can talk. Um, so yeah, my big thing with the SSCs right now, the price is not quite there yet. And we're also at this kind of awkward part where... Uh, M.2s are getting cheaper, but how do you use enough M.2s? Once you have, like, four slots on your computer, which, uh, bonus points as well, a lot of computers, one of the slots uh, for M.2s does cut off your SATA ports, and that would mean, oh, I'd have to kill one of my SATA drives. Um, I would probably decommission my, uh, my uh, quarter terabyte, you know, SSD. Tried and true, it's, it's still working, but it's just like, yeah, you know. It's not the largest storage, and it's not the fastest storage. Here's a challenge that you can do right off the bat. Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards. Can't you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. Now this is this is a tricky challenge. Also, uh, you might recall this is the uh, level that's on the title screen, and also the cover art of the European version. It features an enemy. Like one of these guys. Uh, this is an interesting challenge. Welcome. This is dry, dry desert. There's no. Um, oh, what's the dungeon level? Um, but basically, what you gotta do is you gotta flame these uh, dinosaur things, and you gotta use your stereo speakers to hear them out before um, before you get them. You saw I just rushed it. I just played that one by well done, grasshopper. It's not Take too this bad. Shiny uh, thing we found to aid your journey. It's not too bad, but it's a it's a little annoying. Now, obviously, if it's not too bad, uh -oh. you know. <laughs> it looks like more lizard eggs are dropping. It's gonna be more. Are you ready for another challenge? <laughs> it's just like, oh, here they come, here they come. They're all dropping down. I'm probably not gonna make this, but we'll see how it goes. They immediately start. Um, you see they start rushing off in different directions, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is kind of an awkward bit here, where you gotta then turn, oh, you gotta get this guy, then you gotta turn around, because there's a guy all the way over here that's about to get, oh, where is he? Oh, he's on the other side of here. No, he's, he's gone, he's a goner. Normal rain in Central Australia. Lots of, lots of rain? Central, oh, wait, is this the cyclone that's, like, wandered down? I mean, it's definitely weakened by this point, it, it, it weakens in, like, one day or two, but it's definitely like, is that, is that the remnant of that cyclone? Whoop! <laughs> I, I, I hit X while I was not on the ground. That was a joke about eggs. Oh! <laughs> the dinosaur egg. This is, this is essential Australia. They probably did get, like, a decent amount of rain, though, I'll tell you that. They all love you as well. They all have, like, little tiny flappy wings as well, so... 
Thank you for helping us again, Spyro. You deserve another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a nightlight. <laughs> okay. So, there you go. Two orbs. Easy money. Uh, but yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, you could you could try and use more M.2s in your computer. Um, but inevitably, it's like, well, I got eight SATA ports, or six SATA ports. I'm like, oh, what? That would be crazy. Ah, oh, this guy's done this. I gotta spit out. Get him. Oh <laughs> my gosh. It's easy. Rain of eight eggs. Oh my gosh, yes, the, the paratroopers. Yeah. What does that make the kangaroos in this conflict? The kangaroos are uh, not on the same side. They probably wouldn't be. Oh, I, I keep forgetting the the yeah the the flame head guys. You charge them, and the head explodes. Also, yeah, that was uh, one of eight enemies that carries a bone. There would be a collect on later in the level for that. So we'll get to that in a bit. Um, there is this, which is a bit of a Goes his head. Oh, there's another one down there. You have to spit a thing at it. Twice. It's just here. The music's a bit of a jam though, so that's all good. Cool motorized division. Um So now, yeah, so you could be like, oh well if you need more M.2s, there's things like uh the um I know both Asus and Gigabyte have an add-in board, and you can add like, you know, turn a PCIe slot into like four M.2s, and that is all right except uh, a lot of the time they actually directly start mapping pcie lanes from your motherboard onto just uh a card and that means that you can't exactly add more um sorry as in as in if your if your slot isn't actually a time 16 slot um you don't actually gain anything you'll you'll get the first four lanes they'll directly wire to an m.2 and then the next 12 lanes don't get mapped at all. And that means, yeah, you can't really I'm buy so that card sad. unless you do know you have a buy 16 slot left over. Bones. If you help me put him back stole together his bones. Again, he'd sure be more fun. And that's the bones that we're trying to recover. Also, this is the end of the level. Just here. Excellent! You made it through the Badlands! I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against a dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. Yeah, these levels, I don't know. I kind of feel like the challenge of getting to the end of the level is very trivial. And in this game, you're able to just get to the end of all these levels real quick. I think the only thing that hard limits you is that there's an orb check midway in both of the worlds and uh, you're expected to get money to pay for... Um, for money bags. I don't think there's any. Oh, oh. nice, cool. Friends, <laughs> dead bones. The only yes, yes. Dude, I would be sad if I was resurrected as bones. Also, yeah, don't die or the pot resets, and I, I worry that all the, the cacti have reset on me as well. Maybe. I mean, it's a lava level. It's a lot trickier than the ice level. This one's another interesting one. There's four of these flying dragon things up here, and they kind of awkwardly fly away. Did he just shoot the... He did just shoot the rocket. Hold on, I'm gonna miss the rocket. Uh, it landed over there. Yeah, you probably saw it for a split second. Uh, oh, okay, the cacti did not reset. That was a skill point. There you go. Skeleton Cooper. Oh yeah. At least with dry bones, there's a lot of dry bones. They can hang out together. Okay, I'm gonna get him this time. There you go. You, I think it's a little possible to, to get them without shooting them, but <laughs> I just find it's easier to shoot them. You may be wondering, what's the point? You don't have to kill all the enemies in the level. You know, you only have to kill enough. That is true, but okay, let's just get him. You get a skill point. That's one of the 16 skill points. It's literally just those four enemies. It's worth it. Um, interestingly as well, I, I might add, um, there's no skill points for any of the four levels in the third world. The kill count is rising. Exactly. 
It's not a completionist run until you kill every enemy in the game. Whoops. I have, I have done the mistake of jumping in. The, it's a very treacherous part of the map over there. But they've got this. Once you, once you got enough enemies. Definitely want to get these two treasures. They're always tricky. Um, this will probably buy me a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, but yeah, there's no skill points on the end of the level. Sorry, at, at, in the last world. Um, apart from, uh, there's one for the boss and one for, uh, the speedway. But, for any of the actual, like, levels in the final world, none at all. And this is the only one with two skill points. And yeah, not every level has a skill point either, so... I don't quite understand, I guess, the intention with the skill points, but, sure. Uh, now we just backtrack through the level and get the bones, basically. And the pot. I forgot the- yeah, the pot's up here, so... There's two guys with bones, Spyro EA edition. What, what did EA do th this time? <laughs> Does EA, like, you know, unbalance or misbalance? Do they do things in a- in a odd way? I'm trying to recall, what was something that EA's done? That kind of like... What would it be that's lopsided? Their attention to Mirror's Edge. How nice and the bone flies out of here. One day I will play the Mirror's Edge uh, sequel. One day. The games with collectibles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Ubisoft's got a lot of games with collectibles as well. I really hate, okay, any game with, like, collectathons. I just want it to be nice and balanced. Like, give a bit of attention towards all the things. I was actually, um, actually, bonus points. This is a great segue. Uh, I was playing this week, um, Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast, the Dreamcast version. Particularly because, uh, did you know it's got DLC in, it's technically on disc DLC, but you have to unlock it with, um, a downloadable file, which you actually can still get. Because some mad lad is proxying it. Who would win? Ubisoft first Donkey Oh, one day I'll play Donkey Kong 64 on stream. I, I enjoy Donkey Kong 64 so thoroughly. Um, <laughs> but it's like, oh boy. Oh boy, man. It, it wasn't too bad. Donkey Kong 64 like seems really obnoxious on the surface. Just how many things you gotta collect. But it actually kind of works out real nicely. I like it. Um... There we go, we're almost done. This should be all the gems, right? Right? Oh no. Oh no, there's four left over. And uh, there's a guy chilling up here, and they don't give you a thing to spit out, so you gotta kinda run all the way over here to get one. Yeah, that was one right in front of me. I ran for this one, who cares? <laughs> um, so I'll finish the, 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 the bit about the SSDs first. So, um, just yeah, yeah. The, the price isn't quite there. Uh, for SATA SSDs, there's only really one that's, um, you know, 8 terabytes as well. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can put my friend back together. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. I did do the all 900 Korok ago. seeds in Breath of the Wild, though, and I'm really worried that when the new game comes out in three weeks, it's gonna be worse. There's gonna be a worse thing to collect. This is the greatest part of the game, by the way. Incredible. I'm, I'm speechless. Amazing. You want to know why the, the PlayStation version of this game is better than the remake? The remake, he flosses. <laughs> it's so good to see my friend looking healthy again. I think he wants to dance for you. He's healthy. Oh, he's doing it again. And I can't... Oh, I can't skip it. Okay. It's the same dance. Don't worry. Um, yes, his friend is dead. That's, well... No, sorry. He's not dead. He's just, uh, you know, a little, a little, um... Light. Okay, where am I missing four, four gems? Oops. I'll be around here somewhere. What's this phrase? They're in the last place you look. It's the most... It's the least helpful phrase in the world. Um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, uh, starter SSDs, like two and a half inch form factor, not very um, cheap. 
you got your your Samsung Cubos, but they're also you know the performance isn't exactly amazing. Um, and again, just if they're not that cheap, mm, I don't know. Uh, you can get some decent M.2 drives for decently cheap. You can get like two terabyte ones for 130. I think actually 130 now. Um, four terabyte ones are edging towards 300 Australian. Um, and that's actually not too bad. Like 300 Australian for like a solid size drive that performs really, really well. It's great. Um, but yeah, uh, there do exist solutions for um, putting multiple uh, M.2s on a single um, kind of slot uh, while also using a controller on that board. So like you, you put an add-in card this diet looks awesome. Bo Bone apple tea. Yeah, that's the one. Where's the gems? Where did I hide them? Maybe they were up here? Maybe the treasure was inside us all along. I'd be very upset if it was in me the entire time. Nope, we've definitely looked there. Is there any part of the level I did not look at? I usually do not have trouble on this level, of all things. I'm just gonna double check with the... 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 quartet up here. Just a double, triple, make sure... There's only one other place I didn't look, and that's, uh, over here. Are there gems over here? I don't... I don't recall off the top of my head that there were gems ever across this bridge. Listen, if I'm wrong, oh boy. The guy chilling. Welcome back to the dungeon! Yeah, we, we did it. We did it. We're back to the dungeon. I'm trying to recall, is there an actual dungeon level later in the game? Maybe. Maybe. Where's the gems? Oh, really? Really? I swear I walked down here. Did that just, like, not pop up on screen because I walked here? I, like, walked over there and they were just behind the wall. Oh, irritating. That's okay. We got the gems. It's all that matters. All that matters. I said the bail quickly. Um, so yeah, at the end, uh, I don't listen, I just bought more hard drives. I thought, I thought, you know, 2020 would be the last hard drives I ever buy for my computer because I thought SSDs would keep getting cheaper. And while they have gotten cheaper, I'm upset that there hasn't been larger SSDs. If four terabytes is like generally the largest SSD you can get and it's 300 bucks, Where's, where's the 8 terabytes? The 16 terabytes? Ugh. <laughs> Listen, I would do this exactly. <laughs> it's just very dead. Um, so yeah. Uh, so anyway, Sonic Adventure. Let me mention that one. Um, so I replayed it. Uh, Sonic Adventure is a game that... <laughs> I've, listen, I enjoyed enough to keep playing it, and I played it on my channel, but I feel like over time, I'm like, man, it, it just kind of gets worse and worse the more I play it. Um, perhaps as well, costs around 5,000 rubles for 500 gigabytes, this is around $60. Well done, $60? Spyro. The power Five from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. I, I feel like we're super lucky in Australia, because not only is that like, that's 60 uh, American dollars, there's a level Metro Speedway. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. I do feel like we're very lucky in Australia. We get, like, I don't know why the, the tech hardware seems to go for fairly cheap, given that, like, you know, we pay more for video games, but we don't pay more for hardware. I'm not sure why. Uh, so this Speedway, you go around and you shoot pigeons and there's bungee jumpers as well. You gotta kill them on the bungees. They're kind of the most awkward ones to get. Uh, like the other speedways, there is a uh, car time that I need to to beat as well for the skill point. But 
I'm hoping I'm doing alright. Uh, there's no... Yeah, there's none on the right. Alright, we charge. Get some of these gates. And then I'm gonna do a wrap around because you got all these uh, construction guys with slow signs. I love them. And then. Oh, I feel like I've done this in a very weird order. Let's see if I've got enough time by the time I get around to the bottom, but probably not. Oh, I got it! Cool! First go! What was my time on that? 109.66. You'll be pleased to know the time you have to get... ...is actually 1.15. I cut- I beat it by like... ...five seconds, jeez. Jokes on you, I bought Silence Battlefront 2 for $2 on Steam in Argentina two days ago. I thought you bought that last week! I thought you mentioned that! <laughs> Unless you had the intention to get- to get it for two... Uh, Two dollars. Now, this is probably one of the hardest, like, challenge things to find. It's just, like, casually up here. Oh. It's like, you can see that there's a hole, but it's very tricky. We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election Oh, you're waiting, waiting for the, the sale. Now the you got it. Would you now be you got to it. Help get rid of them? That's a good deal as well. That was a good deal. Great. The hunter has been able to knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and is lost. The hunter is waiting for you the outside. The hunter? Good luck. The hunter, you say? And sure enough, it is hunter with a jetpack and a gun. And he's left-handed. What the heck? So you just kind of go around and you go fly into the treasure. And you have to make sure that you get the one that he actually shoots. This isn't too bad, but the very, very last one always looks like you fail. Because it's so close to the water, and the moment you pick it up, it just kind of fades to black. And you're like, did I get it? Or... It's not too bad, though. Whoop. That one doesn't even fall into water, but it still counts as a failure if it touches the ground. I don't know. There we go. Here we go. And here comes the last one. Lucky loss. Look how close it gets it. Look how close it is. It's probably not too close. Well done. You really taught those crooks a lesson. Wow. An orb for me? Uh, so yeah. So Sonic Adventure has DLC. Um, unfortunately, I guess none of the DLC is particularly, like, crazy engaging. Quite a lot of it is just, like... Um, the AT&T special DLC, and it's like, in Speed Hideaway, it just adds a couple of platforms, and then just expects you to get to the end of the, like, the first act, the first kind of area as Sonic, and, and times you for doing it. Legend There's has a couple it others that there is that, a portal oh. to Zephyr here, and Legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for uh, a small fee. Sonic Mania costs three times cheaper than Origins. Yeah, Origins is crazy expensive for what it Thanks is. Thanks for the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skilo's Badlands. Oh, I want a lizard burger. I feel like a lizard burger would be like really salty, but not too bad, not too shabby. Zephyr is a cool level. I, I do enjoy Zephyr. Um, yeah, I don't know why Sonic Origins, um, is so expensive. Like, they're like, oh, wow, you know, first three Sonics all packaged together in one nice easy package, but it's like, do we need that? We've already had Sonic 1, 2, and 3 released on so many platforms. We don't, we don't need it again. They took it off sale on Steam to put it on sale for a much higher price, and you don't really get anything out of that version as well. I don't know, man. I, I would prefer just... Keep the old versions, guys. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The Breeze Builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. I'm it. Oh my gosh. So this is, uh... What is this guy meant to be? A slug? He's very bulbous, and he's got little dinky hands and a tooth. They're at war. Gotta watch out for these chickens. Little birds dropping 
dropping bombs, but they keep on forgetting. And they get the oh, they get the bombs from the uh, from the, the higher birds, so we're gonna throw it on me anyways. Very interesting aspect of Sonic the Hedgehog. If you have animated profile pick Oh, oh. Hold on, oh, let, let me get into character. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do a terrible Sonic impression on stream. Here we go. Hey guys, if you have anime as your profile picture, your opinion does not count. Sonic out! <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. Is that how he sounds? I think it is. Oh my gosh, he's so excited. He rammed into me and his soul just left. Uh, I don't think it's easy to get these two, but I'll get around to them in a little bit. Die, bird, with a bomb still in him. Imagine being buried with a bomb still in you. Normal, normal moment, you know, it happens. Uh, there's a bit of stuff still kind of sitting around here, but that's okay. Dang, cannon <laughs> just ain't working for me. I was silver and Sonic and Tails, a Russian fandom. Ah. <laughs> that's that's cool. What uh how how many lines does a does a Sonic fandom have to like have to do? Also, cannons, they're sort of back from the first game. Actually, are these new? No, there were cannons. Were there cannons like this in the first game? I don't think they actually were, so I'll take it back. Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you can hit the, the birds at the back if you're yeah, if you get it just right, you'll get him. You'll get him. Did I get him already? I guess I did. Oh, and one, one last one to get, just before I start going around and exploring. This wall on the back. Around. I had around 30 and I tried to make them while I was on holiday in another part of the country. 30 lines. It's not too shabby, it's not too shabby. But you gotta get it consistent. Like, that's the one thing that is, like, very tricky about, like, voice acting is being consistent in character. If your, like, voice just sounds like. Sorry, if your character's voice just sounds like you, it's easy ass. It's the easiest job in the world. If your character does not sound like you and you're putting on a show, like, it is a rather tricky thing. But a talented person can do it so naturally. They, they maintain so many voices. Uh, I... Uh, listen, I, I don't think I've got the most perfect a voice for VA, but, like, I don't know, man. I'd be down to, like, try and do, like, a little bit as a side hustle. I need like a like a, a, a resume and then basically like what do you have to just like work for free? Is that like how you have to do it? And then it's like a, then someone will hire you because it's like oh look at all this like free voice dubbing that someone's done. I'm gonna block this bird with the dynamite. Come on. Can I get him? There you go. <laughs> Definitely got him there. Uh, there is stuff down below, but uh, you know might as well finish the up above first. They have done this idea. I'm very certain, like, one of the last levels in Spyro 1 involved just someone throwing exploding boxes, exploding barrels at you. It's just the Donkey Kong level, pretty much. Uh, the fan part about it... I was talking with Dub Leaders, also our Sonic voice. I talked to him about the Egg Robot voice, and then he said, Wait a minute, you sound like Silver. You sound like Silver! Dude, that's good fun. That's good fun getting, like, recognized as well. You're gonna have to, like, send me your, your silver dub as well. I really want to hear it now. <laughs> okay, we should be able to get this, and the two birds there should be... I don't think there's really any... Actually, I think the big reason why you want to hit these birds is so that they don't just irritate you later in the level. But, uh... How exactly you hit them? Uh... Oh, I guess I got it. There we go. And one last one for glory, which is, uh, the actual end of the level. Oh! <laughs> Kablooey! They have blown up the end of two levels now. I was like, well, then it's no, it's no use. 
send him to space. <laughs> nice, very nice. I Sonic the Hedgehog is a franchise I like love and hate. I don't actually like really hate it, but I definitely do find that just like, man, you know, like Sonic Adventure 1 is so clunky of a game. Um, and playing it again, it's just like Wow. Oh, I'm trying to get back into it. Like, sure oh. is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh, good. Oh, he yeah. had a helmet. <laughs> the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Good job, soldier. <laughs> um. But yeah, yeah. The, the first Sonic Adventure. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I think for me it's like a bit of like false impression as well. Um. But, uh, if, if anyone remembers, what was it? Hellfire Dubs? Like an old channel, and I'm very certain they did, like, long playthroughs of uh, pretty much every Sonic game for a long time. Um, at least ages ago my on YouTube. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? <laughs> the greatest character in all of the Spyro stuff. You gotta get five cowlicks back into the pen. Uh, how do you do it? You can either flame them and they hop a little bit, or you can charge them and they hop a lot bit. Get them in the pen, nice and easy. Um, I think I still have uh, compiled MP3 files of the dub before the project was cancelled because Eggman disappeared. Oh, like the VA was doing Eggman. Rip him disappearing. Uh, should be able to... Oh, oh. Bird! Oh. I wanna get the bird. There we go. Uh, so yeah, as I play Sonic Adventure more and more, I'm basically just like, man, you know, I, I always keep forgetting where I'm going. I, I can just never recall, like at what point, you know, it's suddenly like, oh, okay, I've, you know, like, j just for example, you finish Windy Valley at the beginning of the game. Also, how do you get these guys up the hill? You give them the super flame and they hop up. Which is kind of hilarious. Uh, at least he got his role by getting, uh, Forklift certified. <laughs> nice. Nice. There you go, get him up there. There's a fade out in the music before you really want it to. Uh, this part, I think, doesn't actually go into the other side area of the level, so I should be able to go back and get that. Uh, but yeah, there's two Calyx down here, and... A little tricky. Oh, <laughs> down, down he goes. There we go. Whoop, whoop, oh, <laughs> didn't quite get him. I love these things, the little like elephant cows. They're so cute. I actually, I really want one. What, the moment we can, like, gene splice random animals purely for our entertainment, ethics aside, <laughs> I want one of these. Look at him! Look at him! Can I get, like, a plush version of this? Just something cool. It's probably the nostalgia talking. Man, I did it! I got the nostalgia talking. Um, uh, so, yeah, you finish Windy Valley and then it's like, what in the game? tells you that you now have to wander over to, um, you know, the casino. It just, there's no tell. You finish the level, and then you're just in the environment, and you just go to Windy Valley. Oh, sorry, go to the casino. Actually, no, you, you don't go to the casino. You gotta get the light speed boots, which, oh, the light speed, um, ring. I don't know. Is it a ring? Is it shoes? I forgot. And it's like, it's under a free, uh, like, there's a car parked on a manhole, like, you know, you know well, the hole, basically. Um, usually. And the car is gone at that point. There's no cutscene, no nothing. 30th anniversary of Sonic in Russia, now remembered because of there one beautiful fan dub of Sonic Over. But I haven't seen them in days. Also, yeah, there's actually seven Calyx. So depending on where you went, you might have actually gotten two other Calyx. Uh, I like getting those two because they're closer and, uh... Again, with the whole, like, you know, you finish the level, but this like, the whole second half of the level. This level is probably one of the most egregious ones for doing that. 
It is probably one of the larger levels as well, like... Like, uh... Scale Lost Badlands didn't seem like that big, and, uh... Frozen Land, whoops, I forgot the name off the top of my head. <laughs> There's like a pretty neat drum pattern going on. There's like some double snares happening. I really want to know how Stuart Copeland legitimately like made this music. I feel like the guitars are, or like the whole thing is virtual. I don't think that there is a, uh, a real like, actually, I don't know. Did he use a real guitar? He's got this, like, twangy, like, you know, uh, acoustic guitar sound that he uses a lot. I'm not too sure how he exactly he does that. I really want to know. Stuart, if you're out there, give me an email. Beando at beando.com. What light from yonder window breaks? That window, that there, window up there, the dummy. <laughs> Quote that all the time. The way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. This is a uh, very open challenge as well. Uh, they're basically like, look, there's Juliet. Can you get up to her? And it's a really interestingly convoluted way to get up there. Uh, but first, let's clear out the area. Um, just a couple of enemies. Uh, I do wish you could get up there. But I know you can't for now. Uh, and there are two Calyx over here. Which you could get back, but I'll try and get them back once I'm done with the place. We'll get them up on the ledge first. Uh, it was translated by a blogger who makes the official Rick and Morty dub. He voices every character and translated it. Plus, his YouTube channel. He got Sonic X, Sonic Russian voice actors. Who they got rid of after one season. They got rid of... Oh, that's a shame after they get one season. But it does mean you get to you get to hear some swearing in Russian on the second episode, right? Right? <laughs> I don't think I've watched that show beyond like the first like three, four episodes, but here's a professor. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean. Uh, I mean, seed for you in here somewhere. <laughs> seed. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Aiming the seed by holding down the triangle button will make this easier. Oh, and if you ever need your seed back, just flame the plant and it will turn back into a seed again. So this is an interesting puzzle that they've got going on. Basically, you have this uh, seed and uh, you can use the seed to put it in the ground and it makes platforms. But the platforms are sometimes too big. I'm not reading that out, but you said strange, isn't it, at the end? <laughs> I do not know. I do not know how to how to say some of the letters, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, if you come down here and you you drop the seed here, you can go up and get another seed. There's this like fun kind of combination of juggling a handful of seeds. Well, it's really only two. I don't think you ever need to juggle more. Uh, so now with this seed, we go back and we can now spit in there and I go back for the other seed I love the effect as well because it's just like <laughs> it's just like you can clearly tell how it's doing it there's a texture on the ground and they're just moving a vertex and it's just kind of like oh it's growing in the ground I don't think as a kid I even like wondered how this was done although the, the plant seems to keep like in the ground a little bit. I think it shouldn't really be visible, but it does all the time. Don't mind, it was a meme from with Metal Sonic from the other, but in Russian. Ah! There we go. Pop your three down, and now we're able to get up onto this central platform, and they're nice enough to just give you another seed, because why not? Well, they expect you to kind of get a good angle on this one. But it kind of locks on pretty nicely. Very complex platform. Nice. Be careful not to flame it halfway up there. One more seed for good measure. There we go. Some big jumps. Should be able to get all the way to the end. 
There we go, and the professor somehow got up here on his own. Oh. Funny how the game does that. Well done, my boy! Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. It was like if you heard Sonic Adventure, Sonic voice actors taking his role again. Yeah, that's nice. Although I guess the, the original Sonic Adventure, all the, the voices are, um... Listen, I don't know if I'd knock the, the voice actors as much. The direction is, you know... It, there's a lot. There's a lot of things that go wrong with the original Sonic Adventure. So, um... So you need to spit one of the seeds up there. He's gonna need it. One actor. Yeah. They, yeah, but Sonic Adventure needs a lot of direction, I think. And, and on top of that, editing. There's a lot of cutscenes where there's just awkward silence. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 is a lot better, but it does also, like, go too fast. Characters talk over each other. Um, which is kind of weird, but here we go. Best voice acting the whole game. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. You never need to see a Sonic Adventure Russian translation. 31. And there he goes. There he goes. Lots of love. Lots of love in this game. There we go. Uh, I have one Calyx sitting here and I need to go and discover where the other one is. Uh, gotta do a gutsy charge, get him over the gap once you get nostalgic. Nice. Um, anyway, so yeah, particularly I was uh, doing the, the retro achievement set for... Um, pretty sure the Calyx is down... Where is the Calyx? Oh, there are two of them. Where's the, where's the other one? Where's the other one chilling? Um, yeah, specifically doing the Retro achievement set for uh, doing the DLC, which for the most part was just doing uh, the Y2K DLC of finding the rings. Finding just these rings that would then play uh, the... Um, oh, I forgot the level music, but it was, it was from Sonic CD. It would just play music from Sonic CD. Uh, it's a neat little secret, but uh, oh boy, every level was the exact same thing. It was find the find the ring, um, and some of them were very obnoxious to find. So, all right, let's let's herd them Calyx back in. We should be good for a level. Three levels and a speedway, and we're not even an hour in. Nice. I always say that, and then it's like the thing that I need to do takes just a little bit longer. It needs up my time. That should be... Oh gosh, where's the gems? Because I'm missing five? Oh boy. There you go, I jinxed myself. I jinxed myself. I was like, oh, it should be good. And I was like, wait, I haven't gotten all the gems yet. Every time. This is why I can't do 100% of this game in a record time. I always keep just missing gems all over the place. I'm just gonna hope my five is just like just on a ledge on the higher bit. Everybody gangster until Ubisoft says something about kids' toy games with Spyro on the cover. Oh no, dude! Spyro, I'm still surprised they haven't rebooted him in any kind of way. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. Here we go. This is actually the uh, halfway point in the game for orbs. 32 out of 64. Very nice. Oh boy, where's the five gems? Five gems, five gems. Hiding away. I love this whole like downstairs bits of the level. It's just a very neat kind of way of presenting it. And that's why I think kind of one of the best parts of all these Spyro games are. They really do utilize that 3D space rather well, um, but in a way that, like, 
it feels thoughtful. It doesn't feel like you've just kind of caked a lot of like rooms and stuff all on top of each other. It's like, no, these are like a flat kind of area, but it's just height and verticality um, in a way that makes a lot of sense. So it's much worse than Death Star Wars Grand Inquisitor. And of course, you can't get back up. Okay, so we're going to hope it wasn't back there. And it was just something I left back here. Um, yeah, I don't have too much to say about the Sonic Adventure um, DLC, but it is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, oh boy, Sonic Adventure is just a harder game to get into over and over again. I guess the one thing that makes it a little easier is the fact that the game is not that hard. It's tricky and there's a couple of bits here and there that are just like a little irritating, but it's not there. Okay, there it is. Well, yeah, it's been we're past the one hour mark. That was like five minutes ago I said that? Really? Time flies when you're having fun. My fun is looking for gems. I know, technically you can just exit the level by going to the menu instead of <laughs> instead of walking to the end, but I like flying to the gate. It gives you closure. One thing, okay, one thing, I, I, I didn't mention this in the first stream, but I'm going to say it here, or I, I missed it again. Uh, point is, there's something wonderful about the first game, that Spyro is on screen the entire time he exits a level. Here, it's like, fade to black. The magic is ruined. And it's not even because of the cutscene, it doesn't happen even, you know, before you fly into a level. The camera's cutting, you know, this camera cuts while he's flying around. Rip. Oh, seizure. <laughs> Bro, you overcooked the turkey. Can't believe it. Uh, there's a... Okay, real talk as well. This hub world has a bunch of really weird secrets. Um, oh, can I get to this one from here or nah? Nah, we'll get to it in a little bit. Yeah, it's a really weird secret there. Um, so we should be good, but here's the uh, the sister level. Over here. And you don't have to pay to get into it. Breeze Harbor. All four of these levels, the three that I've done, uh, the and the flying level, and this one, all can be done before you actually get the ability to climb, but um, I'm very certain I've had to have the ability to climb to do uh, parts in... I guess only one of them. I don't think this level's got climbing as well, so... <laughs> Imagine getting memed on by a blob. How cruel. This guy's over a drop. Please excuse our mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First they put out the fires on our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship, too! If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machines. Highly advanced machines? So we got some metal dudes, they spit water at you. And they're also kind of cruel. Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate this over here. Just like uh, in the icy level, the enemies will dynamically do stuff to stop you from progressing. Very nice. War never changes. Kill count is not high enough. Dude, two bits of war. Two levels at war with each other. There's something missing, I guess, from the third game. Also, oh, oh. <laughs> real Geo dude vibes with that guy. It's, uh, I'll tell you. We got those little firefighter ones as well. The music is jamming though. If anything, there's a lot of like Spyro One-esque jams in this game, just just tucked away. Oh yes, you can blow them up. There is actually one on the other side of here. I'm very certain. You'll see that counter go up. There it is. I that there was indeed another one down there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else you can get with this cannon. Oop. Not gonna 
miss that gem. We ain't missing gems today. We're gonna do this level, not miss any. Power the, f the water, and the water level goes up. I powered the water, yes. I'll just say it's nuclear power, you know. Uh, so game number two, I guess, that I played uh, was um, Gran Turismo 2000. I don't have a lot to say about it because it is the 2000 demo to Gran Turismo 3, uh, which featured one track, one car, and kind of one lap as well. Those land blubbers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. Too bad Hunter's voice actor is not doing a good job at hiding the way he says orb, but yep, there's an orb for defeating all eight of the landmines. This one's a kind of weird one. I just kind of keep shooting around here and eventually... Eventually I'll hit. There's one. There's two. Oh, here we get it. Um... So Gran Turismo 2000 is, a uh, I love the fact that a giant blob in the bucket means they have a giant bucket. Oh, exactly! They got buckets all over the place. So power that, and, uh, these boats just start going. They said these are highly advanced, but, like, these are just, like, actual wings on boats. I guess they're birds, it kind of makes sense, maybe. Where the firefighters keep getting all their, their, uh, water from, though? Why do they have lava here? Why, 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 what, what purpose? Also, this is the, the last of the, the landmines. They're just kind of here, so. It's over fairly quickly. Thanks, Spyro. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. The clam juice? What are you doing eating clam juice on my orb? Uh... So yeah, so Gran Turismo 2000, you basically drive around the Seattle circuit, which was in Gran Turismo 2, so it's not a new circuit, but it is very fancy compared to Gran Turismo 2. Uh, you drive in a Mitsubishi Lancer, which you can paint dandelion yellow, and uh, you go all around for 120 seconds, which is basically enough for one lap and running into the first corner after that first lap. Uh, you face off against six guys, you can be in either racing mode or drift mode, and automatic or manual transmission, and that's kind of it. And it plays one jam, which is uh, eventually put in Gran Turismo 3, and it blows your ears out. And it's amazing. It's a neat demo, but it is also just a demo, and there's nothing you don't gain from just playing Gran Turismo. Sorry, there's nothing you gain from playing this instead of just also just playing Gran Turismo 3. Um, but it is a rather cool demo, and a piece of history, because Gran Turismo 3 wouldn't happen for another year and a fair bit after this. Um, I hate as well, it's like... 13 enemies out of 16 and you need 14 because three of the enemies are just on that boat I used to always get goosebumps standing on this because it's just like that doesn't that does not feel right in that So flame the bits and then realize that you just baited the guy out or he's just stuck in the corner He's just stuck in the corner cool. I mean, that's the one guy bouncing around, putting out the fires, and he was stuck, so... I'm gonna grab this before I... Hit this, and it raises! Whoa! Um... So yeah, uh, there are six retro achievements for Grand Turismo 2000. It is the easiest six achievements you could actually get. Slime Thanks Rancho 3. Thanks our ship fired up, Spyro. Now we can proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. What's a tease in that sentence? Ooh. Um, so yeah, easy, easy achievements would recommend. Uh, and the last game I, th I thought I'd mention this week, I'm not going into there just yet. There's not a whole lot of this level I haven't experienced, but there is a... Uh, this bit down here, now that I've killed the enemies, there's a spring, and it's a guy who's about to give us a challenge. And it's been a hot, like, how many years since I played the game last on my channel, but I'm gonna mention... How lucky for me that you came along. The line... The machinery is broken, and the gears I need to repair it are scattered all over the tracks. Could you hop on that trolley up there and get them? The trolley. The trolley. 
It's a very triggering word, trolley. And the moment you run into something, he's going to tell you, trouble with the trolley A. You ready? Trouble with the trolley, eh? Well, just use the D-pad or <laughs> Goosebumps, I would always take lane. so press many attempts to, to do this. Press the circle button to fire the cannon. I would just never get it. Now, I'm a pro, man. I'm gonna do this first go. And there's only one orb as well. You don't have to do this multiple times. I make a joke about a game plot without knowing the plot. And I realize in a few minutes I said the plot for the next 20 minutes without knowing it. Dude, I've done that sometimes. I actually, I remember, um, like, I, oh, okay, okay, I can't remember the actual thing, the actual, like, plot, but I do recall, um, in probably, like, primary school, I was, like, nine or ten, and I joked out loud about a certain thing going, like, imagine how silly it would be if X. I forgot the plot, I forgot the thing I was joking about. But I remember, poor memory right here in my brain, getting, like, everyone going, Oh, you spoiled it. And the teacher, I don't know why I said it out loud with the teacher hearing it as well, uh, legitimately told me to, like, I got put on, like, detention because they were like, you spoiled it. And I was like, what? And I had never read the, read the thing ahead of time. I was just like, you know, that just so happened to be the thing, the actual... Thing. The fact that I could guess it means that I'm either psychic or a genius. The class can't handle my genius, so <laughs> nah, I, I don't know. That was great work, Spider. Easy. See, I can, I can no sweat. No machine. sweat. I can do this easy. Yeah. I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing. <laughs> I don't have too much to, to say about that one. Um other than like, yeah, it's a little mini game where you like slide left and right and shooting the barrels is very you know, nerve-wracking because you have to shoot them right before you're up to them. Um, and then after you do that, you got a lot of gems just kind of lying around all over the level. In particular, right at the end of the level. I think the easiest way is just to... Oh, sorry, right at the beginning of the level. So I gotta go back around. Um, but oh boy, yeah, I... Like, when I, when I was a younger lad, I would not talk much. I would be very, very quiet because... Those few moments when I would talk, and then it's just like, oh, you get told off. Teachers tell you, it's like, oh, you know, you, you gotta speak up more. And I'm like, no, I'm not speaking up more because of that. Because, like, half the things I say, you get told to shut up, or you're wrong, or that kind of stuff. It's like, bro, like, freaking, just, like, be a bit more gentle. That's it. That's all I ask. So... And it's always my fault that I'm quiet in class. It's not their fault. This is a, this is a bit of venting, man, you know? When we, the last time this would have been relevant would have been when I actually played this game last on my channel. I think you had anime as your profile picture? I never, I never had anime as my profile picture. I have never done an anime. I've done the Munchlax, I guess, but it's been the Munchlax the entire time. Dude, the weirdest part? Not the weirdest part, but I guess like the kind of surreal... Not surreal. What's the phrase I'm doing? I don't know, as a, as a bit of a contrast, I feel like people with anime pictures nowadays uh, in real life are rather outspoken. And uh, they're not exactly told off for it. There you go, it was just, it was just there the entire time. Whoa. There's nothing wrong with an anime profile picture, to be honest, but... Unless it's a very generic anime. Find something unique, fellas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh boy. Can't believe you're into... Chainsaw Man as well. I don't know, what, what's the popular anime of now? Is it still Chainsaw Man? Chainsaw Man go like crazy popular. So I, 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 I'm, the only thing I'm criticizing is just like things being popular. It's a very un, unfounded, unfounded thing. And I don't know, isn't it weird that like you can easily just like stoke flames on the internet by just like saying you like or don't like something popular. If it's unpopular, legitimately no one cares. But when it's popular, people super care. 
what you like what you feel for some reason um or rather they super care what you feel adding into the whole pool of ideas and stuff on the internet they don't exactly care about your opinion in, in isolation, but they do care about how, you know, you're part of a hundred people who have this opinion. So here's a... Oh, wait. There we go. More lives for the lives god. Scorch. This level is terrifying. I am terrified of this level. It's another desert level. Or, it's, or I guess the other one wasn't a desert level. It was like a lava level. Volcano. Well, it's not a volcano level either. What is it? This introduces everyone's favorite characters. Ooh. Oh no. The lollies into lollies. <laughs> Welcome to my rant. This is is this actually our rant? Like, oh boy, oh boy. Hello, Spyro. My brother Handel and I have been sent here to blow up this castle. Isn't this like Persia? This would not... Evil soldiers, and I'm stuck out here. Or Arabia? You can open the doors that block the way? I don't know, I always think of like Persian rugs. But then like, Arabian Nights. And I'm like, at what point? Like, did they import the rugs? Did they import the knights? <laughs> Does Persia not have night time unless Arabia gave it to them? They got camels, so I'm thinking kind of both, but they also got like, uh, you know, flags. Did Persia have flags? I don't know if my, uh, my Middle Eastern and Southern parts of Europe is this is a guy with an elephant gun. It's a giant camel and he comes to eat you as well. This level made me terrified of camels. That as well, there was like a, there's another personal tidbit. When I was like 12 or something, I don't know, I was traveling with my family. There was an alpaca. And we were like, let's say hi to the alpaca. And the alpaca just casually like, uh, my parents say he kissed me. I'm very certain he spat like really close to my face. I'm right. Ancient Iraq. They could have been one and one the same back then as well. That was the fun part. Lots of, lots of political borders were very different back then. Like, um, uh, like the Tuscan region in Italy is like, yeah, it's Italy, but it is like a very different, like, part of Italy. And it still is nowadays. If you're ever up at, um, uh, Milan, it's like, you go to Milan and it just feels like the rest of Europe. You go to, like, anywhere else in Italy and it's just like, yeah, no, this is, this is Italy. Except for Rome. Rome, Rome has so much history and also is a fair bit of a tourist trap. The I like it, but oh boy, the oh boy, the food I prices, I'm sorry. Them, I didn't know where to go. Throwing coconuts at me and it hurts. Can you help me out? It hurts. There were no United States in the 10th century, the good old times. Great. Yeah, but Just there was England. The tree before I, get I don't think hit. it was any better. Could have catch the monkeys. <laughs> It's like an ABGN comment of like, monkeys fall out of the trees, and I would always just think of this. You charge the trees, and uh, that royalty free sound of a monkey plays. You gotta not take too long, or else they throw a monkey at Hunter. Sorry, they, they don't throw a monkey, they throw a coconut at Hunter. Camera is so panned back for this. I actually really appreciate, like, I mean, yeah, like, I guess. In hindsight, kind of thinking about it, like, yeah, like, nearly every one of these challenges is something unique as well, like, even if it is it's just a combination of the mechanics, it's just like, you know, like, this camera angle is just kind of its own thing. And Hunter running around carrying a barrel, filling it with monkeys. They wrote this Thanks just for this for one help, level. Spyro. Please, take this. One of the monkeys had it. Oh, it comes out of the barrel. Whoosh! <laughs> So I think if you charge every tree here, by the way, and not just, not just the one with monkeys. 
don't think you have to charge them multiple times. I'm not too sure if you have to charge the trees down below, though. I think you might have to charge the trees down below. Yeah, I think you might have to charge the trees down below. Okay. I'll try and do it as I go along as well. Um... But yeah. <laughs> There's just trees, and the trees all have... Yeah, I think some of the trees have, like, extra coconuts. They all... The coconuts drop. And, uh, yep. We got another skill point, ladies and gentlemen. Skill point for getting all the coconuts out of all the trees. So... We get this coconut, and then we're gonna get the bit. This is a cool level, though. The only thing I think I kind of, like, really hate about it is, uh, one... Desert levels... I don't know. They rub me the wrong way. I think it's because I hate sand. It's awesome that it gets everywhere. Um... But I think also the uh, the the orb challenge. Are there only two orbs in this level? There's only two orbs as well. It's a lot of effort just for one of the orbs. Oh, that was all the, the stuff. Skill point right there. Think about it. This is the fifth level of uh, eight this stream as well. So I guess I'm trying to go for eight. So guys with the elephant guns. Uh, I got one last game to mention uh, that I played in the past week, and that was a game called Great Greed, a Game Boy game developed and published by Namco. It's a turn-based RPG, but it has a rather interesting combat system where, basically, uh, if you take too long, your opponent makes a move, and all your moves are one button press. You attack with A, you dodge with B, and ahead of time you've mapped all your spells to the d-pad so you just press down to heal or left to cast fire or something like that rather interesting u.s presidents could play or play hearts of iron for millennium dawn but putin could not play i could not show up so trump had to play russia i have not played hearts of iron 4 actually i did play tekken 7 which is not at all the same game um but uh do i have hearts of iron 3 at least maybe i do Double check. I should do that, um, the, the, the cross game, you know, kind of thing. All the way, Crusader Kings, Europa Universalis, Victoria, oh, oh, boom, 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 and then, uh, and then Hearts of Lion, and then, uh, the end with Stellaris. They'd sent me a thing that Solaris is adding a five-player co-op mode. <laughs> Which sounds kind of fun and a bit cooked, but kind of fun. Here's the last little bit of the level. Half of Iron 4. Historical experience. If you like IS Japan, Great Invasion of England. Listen, he gave him a chance. They probably would have. I think a lot of people would have been happy to take over England at that time. To be honest, wouldn't uh, would everyone want Japan as well? The territory, for, for land, that's it. Not for any ulterior motives. <laughs> if YouTube goes, ah yes, talking about military conquest. For strategy, the dang it. Wait, secret agent. Now Hando and I can complete our mission. By the way, you can have this talisman. I stole it when the soldiers weren't looking. Hey, that's a talisman, not a talisman. Gosh, this person just like ooze and oh. <laughs> I sure hope they don't appear in the sequel. Did I really just like miss this bit over here? Okay. I think that's every enemy as well. Yeah. Cool. But not every gem. What gems am I missing? No more British jokes. British anime. <laughs> They're already... wait. I'm trying to think, what, what is a British anime? I was gonna say Avatar The Last Airbender, but it's like, no, that's... that's hey, American. Spyro, we need those flags they probably to exist. Secret mission was successful. But the Flag Keeper keeps stealing them. If you could knock the Flag Keeper down, you could bring the flags back. My secret decoder ring says that this power-up thing should help you. 
So this is potentially one of the hardest orbs in the whole game. What you gotta do is you get this and uh, this uh, flame power up. And you gotta point up and he's chilling up here, a little naked baby genie at the top. He's just floating as well. That's how he exerts his power. I used to be terrified with things that float. So, you want that flag, eh, dragon? Well, two can play at this bombing game. Let's Bombing go. game? Well, was a man, it was 1999, uh, 1999, it was a different time. So he throws uh, bombs at you and you have to try and dodge them and you gotta get all the way back up to the top. And he throws the bombs sort of all over the place and they, if one touches you... Ha! You won't beat me, dragon. <laughs> All right then, let's go. Here's Bombo. We're wearing a diaper. I, I'm, I'm getting beat by a guy in a diaper. So once you get to like kind of there, he throws the flag away. Great, but there are still two flags out there. And then you got to do it two more times. It's like ah. Uh... It's a lot of effort for an orb. So we go back. And yes, the, the flags are all three bits above the buttons that I hit as well. So every time you do one, the next one's further back. Uh, this is... Oh, oh. Look at that. There we go. Is this going to reach him? Oh, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. There we go. Get my gems first. So, so great good, uh, great good, great greed. Um, turn based RPG. Uh, the actual RPG aspect of it is fairly simple. It kind of reminds me of just like Dragon Quest 1, basically. One party member, um, generally attack and heal is your strat. Um, but, uh, there's a decent amount of, um, like, uh, I guess, area variety. It starts to get a bit more drawn out later in the game as the areas go on for so much longer. Um, but it took me about nine hours overall, and the bit that I really thought was kind of weirdly fun was, uh, they, the character names and the town names were all just food. And, like... <laughs> You're so close, Spyro! Just one more flag! Like, there's a, there's a character who's like, there's multiple princesses, there's like a princess cupcake. And at some point, very late in the game, they just go, My name is Princess Cupcake. Man, these programmers were on something because all of our names are really weird. They just mention it outright. Break the fourth wall. Um, and, uh, yeah, but there's a lot of, like, kind of silly little pieces, but, uh, it goes fairly quickly. There's a lot of, like, areas it goes through, but, um,. Back up a little bit. I feel like I took the really long way because you could just cut through the, you know, the building because the exit's right there. But oh well. You won't get my last flag so easily, purple beast. I'd be terrified of this guy. Like, what? Is, what are these magic bombs he's throwing? And he calls them bombs. Ha, I don't care that they don't hurt me. That's terrifying. I just like. They're overwhelming, they go all over the place. I mean, it's not too bad, but oh, the way they bounce. Oh, I get nightmares of this. Uh, but yeah, great greed. Um, I think the only thing I'd yeah, really rip into it is, uh, yeah, it's a bit too simple. Um, but also, maybe it's like, you know, it's actually not too bad as... A very entry-level RPG and I really do appreciate the pacing um, it just yeah by the end of the game job, some of the areas are like you know multiple floors multiple kinds of rooms um, the and they kind of repeat the same structures as other rooms in the game uh, so it ends up not feeling like it, it's looking very different and it's on the Game Boy it's only got one color palette you might get a bit you know tired of that color palette but uh, one very generous thing about it is that, uh, uh, one, I never had to grind, really. I think there were a couple of times when it's like a boss would defeat me, and I will go, darn. And I would walk back, fight a few enemies for, like, five minutes or ten minutes, level up, and then I would be, like, once. And then I would be fine for the boss. So, 
Ah, uh, I was pretty alright there. And I didn't really have to save money. I just kind of like sold the items I had and then bought new equipment when I could every time. So, gosh, the ultimate evil, the ultimate power. Out they go. So uh, here's a, uh, a barrier check right here. I'm pretty. How many orbs do you need? I think you need 16. Oh, uh, Spyro! Hello. I was just having trouble with this door, and I think some orb power might unstick it. I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. Oh, really? That's eight? Because you need 50 to beat the game. So like, and especially like, I mean, there's two levels beyond here. So Fracture Hills is one of the two levels that you can't actually be until you get the power of the next uh world so i'm going to quickly run through it and then we'll come back to it uh, in probably an hour's time probably less than an hour because there's only three levels left and this one and then and the, another one i need to speak through so yeah probably way less look at them dancing pigs oh they're not dancing anymore the biggest crime these enemies create though uh so the gist of this level is that you free the satyrs. And then uh, some music notes fly out and uh, it blows up the, the building in the middle. At least a little bit. Thank you for releasing me. There are still some satyrs trapped in stone. Thank you, my man. Also, give us an intro. Well, hello there, Mr. Dragon. Hm, you're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could oh, take you on a oh, tour of the temple, oh, but a bunch the of insult. lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Uh, the earth shapers have encased it in stone. I... <laughs> how, do, how does one, like, really nail the valley girl voice? Eurovision world. Well, I'm gonna skip these, because I'm- you just hit start. Just, it's the same animation, it's just- it breaks the building good more. And I'll view them in full when, when we try it again. This level, I hate. I hate the bees. The bees are irritating. This is Eurovision world though. Isn't Eurovision like... Is it later this month? Or has it already happened? Did I miss Eurovision already? When did Eurovision happen? Very important. It's Anzac Day tomorrow, I know that. Um, what is Eurovision? Home Eurovision TV. This is very important. Okay, 9th, 9th, 11th, 13th May. Cool. I have not missed Eurovision yet. I want Australia to win Eurovision. This will be the ultimate, you know, what moment. We are not in Europe. What are we doing in Eurovision? So yeah, watch out for the, the, the yam plant with eyes. Greatest Europe country. Exactly. We are the biggest European country. So anyway, you free all the satyrs and the thing in the center opens up, but we'll, you know, we'll pay attention to this in a bit. Uh, and, uh, follow the... Well, not the track, but eventually you'll get your way back up to the center, and that's the end of the level. Oh, hi. So, uh, we'll listen to you in a bit. We'll listen to you in a bit. Was Russia in Eurovision in the past? Russia is in more of Europe than Australia is, I'll just say that. And then the jam and the vibin. Oh, I didn't get to fight these. We were ah oh, yeah, after twenty twenty two. Gosh, it's gonna be weird like getting back into it because like the whole world is is Blender's uh so, politi political, socio-political takes of, of the thing. It's gonna be so weird when we get back into Russia being part of, you know, everyone again. Unless we start walling off more countries. I have no insight knowledge, I will just say that. I, I'm literally just the guy who's seeing things. I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems. Little castle? What do you say? How many gems you said? 400? No one's been through that portal in years. I thought I'd never find a sucker. 
Uh, I mean, you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. Oh my gosh. So I know I just walked past a level, but that is because uh, this one is the other one that we can't fully do. So I'm also going to rush through this one. Um, but you kind of have to like, yeah, I kind of have to ignore the other one because otherwise, uh, you know, I'll finish this level and then suddenly just be thrust into the boss. Or at least right up to the boss. And I haven't actually explored the entirety of the hub world yet, so... Shady Oasis is, uh... Oh. Just running in circles when you think about it. It's a nice camera trick, though. Oh. I mean, I still remember FIFA Patch No, which almost said, Yeah, by the way, we deleted our whole Russian from our game. Oh. Yeah, I just find it's like so weird. But it's just like, man, you know, we Spyro, all cut out Russia. You're here. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, oh, well. but I'm just not strong enough. Hopefully, it resolves itself soon, if man. You charge or flame the bush. I, swear, I just want things to get back to normal. Berry should drop. So anyway, the gist of this level is that you flame the berry tree and the hippo. Um. gets big. I was gonna say there's great nutrients in those apples. The berries, sorry, the berries. These guys are annoying, they take two hits. You charge them, they're still not dead. I deleted all the Russian flag stadiums. Dude, it's kind of weird playing um uh, the F1 games. Now I've got F122 and that actually has Russia removed from it. Um, but the, uh, the, what is it, like, the drivers are not even Russian. They're from the Russian Automobile Foundation because of the, uh, the doping scandal. Like, so many motorsports don't put the Russian flag in them. I mean, I mean they'll, they'll put the Russian flag for the Russian, you know, circuit, but they wouldn't put the Russian flag next to drivers because you can't represent Russia all of a sudden. I mean, I kind of get it, but it's also just like, man, you know, like, it's not like Nikita Mezzikin did anything. Well, I say that, but it's also like, uh, isn't his dad also, like, mega rich and is funded by... I don't know, actually. I don't know how that works. People really hate it on Nikita Mezzikin in Formula 1. And, like, more than just his driving ability. They, like, really ripped into him for some reason. Uh, almost at the end of the level, just one thing you gotta do is grab this and, uh, shoot the berry up high. I like this level, I'll talk more about it when, when we do it, uh, legit, in... Probably... Probably now? Maybe last time, actually, at this point. And here we are, the great berry tree of the center. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. All here, the time! It's a gift from all of us hippos. That's a kind of cool level, I like it. And it's a lamp! From not the Arabian level. Is this a sister level? Is this a paired level? Oh. In theory, what happens when they eat two of them? Who knows? Who knows? Um, so yeah, Great Greed actually would recommend it. It's a very nice and quaint uh, game. Also, yeah, it's it's very generous. You can save anywhere. Hit select, save. Doesn't matter where you are. You can save wherever. It's great. Um, music's fairly alright. Gets a little repetitive, but fairly alright for what it is. You know, really, really nice Game Boy game. And, uh... I guess uh, if someone's going to say the word hidden gem, that one actually might be a hidden gem because it just kind of exists at its time and that's it. Uh, so this is kind of a, an interesting glide over here. My dad's just chilling out here and the, the weirdest part as well, because this is a speedway that I'm about to unlock, you may not even recognize it's here. I this speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Love Unfortunately, to. the speedway rules require to charge a small fee. <laughs> True. 
100 gems, though. It's, it is rather cheap. Wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. 100 gems is rather cheap. So, I see Speedway. I do see a Speedway. Okay, uh, I think I have to do it in 115. So, uh, we start off, we've got a couple of dudes doing, uh, paragliding. And then you gotta get the, uh, the sleds themselves. I then like going around and hitting these ice skaters. Or at least two of them, and then I go for the... Galapagos... I don't know, what are these? Sea monsters? Keep going for the sea monsters. The music is jamming though, it's going high tempo. Go around, hit more skaters. Oh. Do. Okay, there we go. And are these the last two of these guys? Nice. And then we go back for the archers, which are all in a nice order. Go. I have so much time left over. If I did not do this in 115, I swear. Easy, easy money. Did I do that in 115? I did that. Well, <laughs> that's that's about the same amount of time as I did uh, the previous one. But you know what? Easy. So there you go. Skill point 115. A uh, hunter is hiding in an igloo. <laughs> Good job, Spike. He's also wearing Looks his like little, little uh, serious challenge. earmuffs How about a little and the barely on his ears that don't exist anyway. <laughs> Great. Great. I you behind my wheel and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any or we'll have to start over. Uh, this is, uh, it doesn't feel right. It looks like the cues are there. You can tell what you're doing, but it just... Every time you swap sides, it does not feel like you're actually about to make it, but you do somehow. So you just keep darting left and right, basically. Uh, and then there's this one bit where you have to, like, lean left all of a sudden, but Hunter makes it work out for you. Uh, other thing about it is the draw distance on the water is really short. Like, it's like one ring ahead of you, the water. It's a technical aspect you're probably not looking at too hard, but it, it is there. Rather interesting all the limitations that like devs had to get around for the PS1. Because it is like, I mean, by 1999, a lot of devs really had to work on like what exactly it would go, show, and it still had to, you know, it still had to struggle with like, you know, Z fighting, depth culling, RTX on. It does need RTX on. Oh, I started playing Puzzle 2 again today, and I realized it's like, oh, look, I can just turn on like infinite view distance because the game would always like have a fog and then it's like man you know like yeah it is weird playing games with like you know no fog when it used to have fog i know there's some games that legitimately you need the fog this game it's like yeah if you run this game uh like through a playstation anyway but with a high resolution spotting all the um all the like lod swapping it's not fun so uh so i've got one more level to go but here's a little secret and this as a kid I never knew this for the longest time. This would be like the last thing I would actually like figure out. There's this cracked wall, and you can break it open like that. I still don't have um sparks. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have sparks for a little bit. Uh, but this is a uh, potentially one of the coolest secrets I think in this whole game, because like that wall is like rather interesting. But on top of that. It's like, oh look, there's a view of, you know, the level I just went to, and then... Oh, wow, you get like a wonderfully high view of the entire level. So much so that they added in this wind sound effect. And, uh, if you spot just over there... All the way over here, there's this platform. And this is how they expect you to glide over to this platform. It's a wonderfully out of the way orb. I love it. It's it's great. It gets you real thinking about like how the level is working in three dimensions. Uh, also, yeah, I did just have. A, oh no! I did just have a gem fall off the the, the map for a moment. 
Uh, that's okay, I'll work my way back up again. Because I do need to be over there for a moment. Um, because we got to get all the gems in the, the hub world. we got to do it. There we go. Up and up and up we go. Round and round. Where we stop, no one knows. Uh, so I guess I got all the things on the platform, but, uh... Uh, important is landing on the wall. Here we go. You can land on this wall from up at the, the, like where that whirlwind was. Uh, but run across the wall. It's a bit of a run, a bit of a trek. Fair bit of a trek, wow. And... Trump jokes are making themselves. Oh, true, yeah. Oh, dang it. There you go. Just another another cracked wall with another another orb. I do like this hub world. It's very nice. I, I love big castles in all these uh, Spyro games. And I think every single Spyro game has a wonderfully nice big castle to work with. Some have multiple. There we go. So, let's do this last level. Uh, this level may actually be my second favorite in the game. So, listen, it doesn't have my favorite level, but second favorite is a pretty good one. Mexicans be like free steel. Whoosh! Enter Magma Cone. Dude, imagine this actually happening. Giant, giant, um, lava rock. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid earth shapers set off the Stupid earth shapers. <laughs> um, but I guess, yeah. Also, is this another assist level? Are actually all the levels in this hub, like, paired? Because we got two levels with Earth Shapers. We got two levels in kind of like the the Persian Arabian lands. Two levels with the you know the fire and ice levels, and then the warring you know two two tribes basically <laughs> put them on the X and uh, they die horrifically. Um, I'm pretty certain that's the theme, and I, I didn't really you know never really clicked in my head until now that that's actually what they've done. It's not exactly like that in the other hubs as well. It's, I don't recall that in the first hub. Music's great in this level as well. It's just, it's just jamming. And you know me, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good volcano level. Every video game needs a good volcano level. It's got like, you know, ledges, nooks and crannies all over the place. We got gems everywhere, because every level's got 400 gems, I just gotta hide them somewhere. The only thing with this level is that it's got one of... <laughs> There's a lot of levels in, in this uh, in the stream that I'm gonna be like, it has one of the hardest orb missions. But, like, this one is legitimately, like... We'll see how it goes. I remember there was a retro achievement, um for this one, and I'm pretty sure it was like, oh, we'll, we'll get to it when I get to it, but it was just like, don't let Hunter get any. It was like, what? If it wasn't that, it was a pretty low amount. Um, but yeah, so this is, I guess, the, uh, if you're not watching the Super Mario show, you get, <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. If you're not watching the Super Mario Super Show, you're gonna turn into a Goomba! <coughs> that is my terrible impression. I can't... I, listen, I can do Sonic. I can't do, uh... Um... I was gonna say Ray Liotta. That's not... <laughs> I never watched the show. I'm sorry. Look at this... Look at this torturous... With the jackhammer. Oh. It's worth it, though. He deserved it. 
Uh, they hit some gems right down the bottom here as well. It's rather crafty. Very awkward place to, like, run. Ah, my birth year. 3996. And TF2 heavy voice actor player. Oh! Good old TF2 heavy. Who is also TF2 demo man. Good old TF2 voice actors, like, still doing their bits. It's definitely, like, listen, it, I, I feel like there's some people where it's like, you know, some voice acting work is a callback to another thing. Um, voice acting work is not glamorous, but like, oh boy, like, everyone who voices a character in a Valve game is, like, super well respected. Even if it is for a decently minor role, it's like, I don't know, man. Everyone likes all of them. Oh. Okay, we saved it. Heavy gaming, exactly. Why am I struggling here? Why? No, 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 no. I'm gonna go up to the very top. I only want to see Scout and NG voice actor to the party. There we go, now that works. Uh, except also, I, I realized it's like, well, now you gotta go around. And eventually, this is a wonderfully weird secret. If you go around the top, there's just another hole, and you can only really access it from, like, gliding around from there. Very out of the way. Get yourself thinking about the level in three dimensions. And here's Hunter, ready again to give me PTSD. Having trouble with the trolley. Hey, Spyro! Check out this cool cave I found! <laughs> Let's play a little game. Every so often, a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. This legitimately turned me off popcorn. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> um, so it's not too bad, but yeah, you just gotta grab ten before Hunter does. Watch where the seam's coming, and then just kind of stand here before he gets it. Uh, I love how the music is just like, it's in double time. It's, it's just like, it's going. See if I can get all the popcorns as they come. Oh. Hunter, you're not doing a great job. But he does get him on the upswing, so if he's if he's ready for it, he's gonna get it quick. Okay. You win. Here's an orb. How many orbs, by the way, is Hunter already holding on to? It's like the whole bar I'm very certain we needed eight orbs in order to get to this level. I'm pretty sure I'll Hunter has eight on him. If you can beat me like, again. When the Let's game starts. This time. What do you say? Also, Hun Hunter is gonna go like Ready double action you on are. you now. This one is one of the trickiest ones. Because if you're off a roll, he's just gonna steal it all from you. Well, dang it. No, no. Catching it quite right. Oh! Kill seal! Kill seal! Nice. Nice. Still nice. Oh. Cool. Cool. Oh! 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 We're going. No! No, 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 no! Oh! Dang it! Oh! Hey, no, get out of the way, Hunter. No. He's about to steal it from me. He's about to actually steal it from me. Whoa. No, 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 no. No. Oh, oh. You're Ooh. really Ooh. good. <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with oh, some more. No. <laughs> For now, take this orb. It was a bit close. It was a little close. It was a little close. <laughs> it was... Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Every time, every time, I always get so anxious playing the, the Crystal Popcorn game, so... Two orbs out of it though, so definitely well worth it. And what I love, and I, I know it's like, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, levels have a different... have a second half to them. The amazing part... is that, like, what we've seen right now... And I, I love this level for this. We've only seen the first half of the level. 
I guess like it hasn't really been that long. It's just kind of this tiny little cone here. This is the cone, I guess. I got money bags chilling here. This this blows my mind, man. You know, 3D level design hits hard. I hit all these lives up here though. I, I swear, like, who are they for? And and these lives respawn every time you go into the level as well. So I'm well, not too sure if, if they respawn every time you die customer. though. The elevator in the next room We've can already take killed you to the, the population of a small you country. You can have unlimited have. use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. A few gems? Oh, 200 bucks. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Simply step on the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. I'm actually curious what the speedrun strat for this game is. Um, like, what's the, the minimum kinds of things that you get? Because you do need to keep paying money bags a fair bit as you go throughout the game. So I love this. It's like, this is just elevator. It goes down, or a lift, sorry, if you're, if you're British. Um, and here is this whole second half to this level. Another massive giant cone. Also, the skybox changes on you. Uh, and it's just like this completely separate area. And I love it. Games need this dichotomy. I, I think it works well in music, it works well in games. Have one, like, kind of, you know, scenario, and throw, like, two bits at it. Two very distinct halves at it. Give it that contrast. Makes it sound out. Sound out. It's great. These rocks are hilarious. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rayman 2 came out the same year as this game, and it also did the, the whole climbing up two ladders and dodging back and forth. Welcome to Florida. This is Florida. What US uh, state would have the um the the most um volcanoes? Probably, probably Hawaii. What's the second one? By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for here's the party. A I think you deserve it more. There we go. That is. The last talisman in the game, by the way, because the, the last world does not use talismans, so, uh, congrats, we've done it, talisman complete. But there's a little bit more to this level as well, just, hey, just a little Milo, tiny bit more. You're just in time for the party. Well, you would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. It just won't be the same without party hats. <laughs> very, very, very true statement. Uh, why is Spyro back up there? Look at these lava monsters that come out! They stole the hats! And the streamers as well. So, uh, what you gotta do is you gotta eat the little dice, and you gotta spit it at them, because you can't just flame them. You gotta, you gotta spit something at them. That's a kinda cool sequence though. You get to fly around, eat the, eat the stuff, and then you come back up and you pop a guy off TF2 be like, This is a TF2 moment. This is a TF2 the level. Isn't it? That's, that's a very broad statement. It's like, how is this TF2 beyond hats? I don't know, we were talking about earlier. But yeah, I, I think I like, I like this level probably because if, if it's not swimming, it's, you know, the next best thing, which is a large flying around sequence. The only thing you gotta watch out for is you gotta replenish your fly every, you know, minute. Uh, okay, let's see if I can go around and get the leg up on these guys. Oh. There we go. Bonk. Okay, man, there's a lot of them just kind of queued up there. Yeah, I keep doing some laps around the cone, keep popping them off. Stole all of Kaven's hats. I'm amazed that like TF2's hat system is like still going, but. The best thing about the hats is how cool they are. The worst thing about the hats is the entire industry followed. It's kind of weird that so many companies still just don't get how, like, what it takes to be Valve. It's, it seems rather trivial, right? Like, just literally emulate the model. That's Thanks, all it Spyro. takes. You saved the party. Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls, and I almost chipped a tooth on it. But instead, it's just like, how many like microtransactions do they want to like milk out of customers, and then like, 
you know, oh, you know, how do you encourage people to buy skins when there's no, you know, like, physical characteristics behind it? It's like, yeah, that's the point. People play TF2 because TF2 is a great game. Now we got this Counter-Strike 2 happening, it's like, oh my gosh. How many gems am I missing? None. Cool. Yeah, with a FIFA who contains ads in the loading screen. Oh! Like, I, I don't mind ads, but they gotta be in, like, appropriate places. And I think the only real bits that you can have is, like, appropriate, um, or, or is, like, world contextually appropriate things. So, I'm okay with, like, ads on, like, billboards in driving games and stuff. Because it's like, they're supposed to be there. There's supposed to be ads on billboards. Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> bro! <laughs> this... <laughs> I love how this... How this level finishes. Just murder! <laughs> the invasive thoughts win. He just... <laughs> he just goes in for it. He's in for the kill. Incredible. Absolutely incredible moment right there. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talisman, your guidebook can break the lock on the door and you can fight Gulp. Are you ready? Gulp. Ah, uh, that was me gulping. Uh, You'll have to mm. jump down the hole in the floor <laughs> to get to where Ripto Something, something, Alora makes me gulp. You a bit. YouTube, have a fun time with that sentence. <laughs> They'll be dropping objects that you can use to fight Gulp. This game is for all ages, exactly. So here is the fight against Gulp. There he is. Uh, no cutscene this time, we just go in for it. Uh, Gulp, oh no, we sorry, we got a little cutscene. Made Avalar ours. <laughs> You've earned Look at that nod nod. Gulp seems like a cool fella. Oh, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. Ah! Oh. <laughs> you singed my cape. Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Not even charging him on purpose. Say goodbye, flame breath. Go. Lunch time. Go. Finish him off and you can have all the fairies you can eat. I'm going to enjoy this. I think he's going to enjoy this. <laughs> uh, so here is the fight with Gulp. Um, it's a bit of a weird fight, because he doesn't exactly open himself up as uh, Crush did, but rather, uh, Laura is just sending in birds with eggs. This is the emu war again, except this time they're boobs, so they're on our side. You charge the, the crate, or the, the barrel at him, blows up. He has ten health, so he takes a fair bit. He also then starts throwing uh, these kinds of things at you. And uh, there's different kinds of things that can spit out the eggs. So these are bombs, you just flame them and they move forward a little bit. When you get two ca- Oh, it, it's, you know, there's two cannons. Two cannons. You know. <laughs> They've always been there, I think. <laughs> um, and uh, this is the third type of item, these little uh, missiles. You want to actually use one of the missiles. Which, oh, try your best to shoot it at Ripto. Try again. There you go. There's a skill point involved for hitting Ripto. There's another one for not taking a hit, but I'm not confident I'll not take a hit. It's a little tricky. You got him in two seconds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe Ripto. No, because Ripto doesn't have a scepter. He doesn't have any magic. The other thing with Gulp, and you want to be a little careful, is that Gulp will sometimes gulp. Okay, that chicken is dead. That chicken is still alive. Gulp will sometimes gulp the items. I'm not too sure if he's... Oh, he's gonna do it now. And some of these get real obnoxious. Oh, but fortunately I hit him before the rocket got to me. But yeah, sometimes they get real obnoxious. Are you eating the chicken? Are you getting health back? You jerk. He got health back. Did you just see that? I didn't even know he could get his health back. Oh, see, that's why I mean. It, it's just... It's a bit difficult to, to fully dodge him, so... Uh, the skill point for not taking a hit 
Listen, there's a there's a rather easy way to get it later on. So as long as I live, that's the important part. I'm glad both of those barrels were next to each other, so I could just do that to myself. <laughs> okay, take two on the fight. Take two. He is a tricky fight, though. And if there's one thing, I guess the first game, all the boss fights were super trivial. Super easy. In this game, you know, they're, they're flexing a little bit. They're showing that, hey, yeah, no, we can make a boss fight. And how do you make a boss fight hard? Ten hits. That's something I always find kind of weird. The fact that Nintendo sticks with three. They they keep doing three hits on so many of their bosses. Oops. Dark Souls? Oh, yeah, exactly. Bro, Dark Souls is like 40 hits and you can only get hit twice. But the other thing with Dark Souls is that almost all the fights are kind of just the same 40 hits over and over again. Like, there's... there's there is magic to... <coughs> there is magic to doing a good boss fight, and I think it's having the boss... You know, decently respond to, like, the ways that you hit it. I'll always note the, um... Oh my gosh, jeez. I'm not having a good time dodging these. Um... I'll always note the Mr. Freeze fight in, um, Arkham City as being, like... You know, one of the best boss fights of... Of uh, any game I know of. Because he just keeps responding, he keeps changing the rules on you. That's what a boss fight should be. Change the rules. But don't ch or change the scenario, but don't change the like how you play the game, because otherwise then your boss fight becomes a set piece. Come over here, bro. Dang it. <laughs> Egg. Oh, he's about to eat the barrel. And I killed myself. Wow. You finished this game uh, last week, at least the story. Nice. As in Dark Souls or Spyro 2? I can't believe I've died twice on this boss, I swear. And I know the game's gonna get easier as I die more often. It's doing it's doing the Crash 2 thing. They they do the thing where like he will he will be less likely to do the bits that kill you. Uh Arkham City. Ah, Arkham City, yeah. Arkham City The thing with the Arkham games is the side content is kind of less meaningful than you know, I'd like it to be. Uh I feel like they put in all this effort to do side content, um, for Arkham City specifically, and it's just like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, it doesn't really... I, I kind of like just the bigger picture story of, uh, both that and Asylum. And then that's what kind of let me down with Arkham Knight, was, uh, hey, where's the... Where's the story? The story is very average. And they put Deathstroke in the tank. There we go, look at that. Okay, you ready? Speedrun strats. Two rockets. Two rockets. Oh. There we go. Okay. Come over here, my man. Nope. It's very hard to hit him with the bombs. Because he's just not in the right place. Whereas, like, with the barrels, it's like you can kind of hit him from ages away. Or you could just miss. And he could eat that bomb. This one's kind of annoying because he, uh, spits out... Bit of bit of sphere. There you go. Don't want to see what happens when he gets the the barrel spit out, but yeah, it's a rather interesting fight though. He's got a lot of different strats. Um, he does take his time. Ten hits is a lot of hits. Oops. Okay, he's gonna use the barrel on me because I missed it. That one's a jumper. Now, for a guy called Gulp, he sure doesn't eat you much. Rocket to the butt. Okay, four hits to go. Four hits to go. Let's do it. We're on a roll. Fight of the century. This is the fight of the century. Oh, no. I wasn't shot. Ah, oh, gosh. I was not shot. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he's standing on it. He's standing on that. How come his ground pound hits the birds so they're in the air? 
I think that's probably the best way to dodge these, is to just have your charge go in a circle like that. So when I was up against the wall, I was just going to throw it off. Oh. Okay, I'm going to need some chickens, bro. I need some chickens. Oh, that's a barrel. I'll take it. The music is very dramatic, though. It's got the strings, man. It, it doesn't sound like at all like the the music of the, the first game, though. There's times when it does, times when it doesn't. All right, well, let's just beat them. Beat them and move on. Turns out explosives are not very good for a growing boy. So, very dead. Also, ripped over his fault. <laughs> Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Whoa! Spyro, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Uh, especially the two that are at war with each other. And since I know you really miss being on vacation, I mean, the creatures of Avalar like, oh, okay. They are civilizations. Wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. <laughs> See ya. Hey, where did Laura go? I better follow her. So, uh, to the third hub, at least for a, for a brief moment. How could I things keep I getting worse? I think I come up with a way to access the Dragon Worlds from the Super Portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent! Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the Super Portal should work again. Oh no! <laughs> 1999. Ah, the seizure is back. I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Why is he selling bombs? Quick, the power crystal. Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. <laughs> this is just what I need for a new know. scepter. <laughs> Hunter, do something. Oh, I guess, yeah. Quick. Classic uh, guy. Hey, give that back. Give that back. <laughs> Glad a guy is selling to both sides. Well, I tried. <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! <laughs> Riptonia is a very interesting name. Did he just swap hands, by the way, on the gem? Oh. oh. You'll see the map. That's a lot of stairs to fall down. Also, is that the second time Moneybags fell down a, a, a flight of stairs? So, uh, okay, let's try and avoid the gems, just to make it look nice and even. Spyro! Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle! Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal! If you can collect enough orbs, You'll be able to get the power crystal back from Ripto, and we can send you to Dragon Shores. Uh, Dragon Shore. Ooh. All right, so money bags is over here, and fortunately, yeah, I don't have to go in here any gems. So here we go. Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one yeah, well, more. Well, he did thing fall off a, a ledge. And like all the best things, it doesn't come cheap. Look how expensive this is—a thousand gems. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, then press the triangle button. The triangle button. You'll find the head bash may help you out on some tasks that were impossible before. Remember, just jump, then triangle. Good luck. 
So, I won't demonstrate on any of these rocks now, but we'll go back to the Autumn Plains and clear off the last two levels. I mean, yeah, if a guy falls off a ledge, you know, that, that usually means death, right? Right? Uh, so yeah, so that's the, the last of the abilities, uh, if you don't have the ability to do something, that's because, uh, I don't know, so, uh, so the two bits, you needed to be able to ground pound or head bash in, um, these two levels, uh, mm, I think mostly just for two orbs, really, I don't think there's any, uh, any gems behind them, but mostly for two orbs, so, we sent him into freefall in the skies. He fell for hours! <laughs> oh, hours seems like a long time. Well, it felt like hours. But anyway, in this level again, we free the satyrs and I shall watch the music notes all six times now. We gotta watch it. It's very important. I love how you might actually catch the pigs near the satyr dancing as well. Thank you for releasing me. There are still some satyrs trapped in stone. That is true. So, uh, so Fracture Hills is definitely, um, an interesting Hello level. There, we listen to this one already. <laughs> Call me a quadruped. Uh, you'd be surprised there is not actually a skill point for flaming all the bushes, but definitely watch out for the things that can kill you. Like that. The bees will hit you all the time, and I just struggle. And I gotta watch the Seder play his music again. Oh my goodness. Thank you. But, oh boy, I struggle with the trees with the bees. So the the gimmick of the level, I guess, is that yeah, you've got these kind of like weirdly shaped bushes. And then just casually there's some with ice. I think it's because they got like a like a thing on their, their tips that kind of tells them out. Uh five minutes of fright. Oh maybe, yeah. Um for the trees, note that the the real trees don't have um you know, a beehive on them. Yeah, it's probably the tips on them. The bee- the bees are gonna get you. I think you basically have to charge up to the tree and just flame it super quick. That's the only real way you're gonna get- make by. So... It's my jam, though. This is my heritage, my, my Caucasian music. Right here. I will say, just out of the blue comment, not connected to anything that's come up on the stream. Just regarding technology, the number of times I keep seeing the term 60 class card, 70 class card, 80 class price, like, oh boy. Like, now I've thought about it a bit more, it's like, oh, this, we got this 4070, it's in a bit of a weird place. The bees do go back, so that's probably your best timing, by the way. Uh, but, like, I keep thinking under the impression, you have to go, Galactolino is busted. Will do, Mr. Crip. Have a good one. Um, the thing with the 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 4070, you know, I think about more. And my original feeling was the 4070 Ti, the 4080, and the 4090 really work better if you call them the 4080, 4090, and 4100. 4100 is a bit of a weird name. I'm not really too sure what's the best way for Nvidia to actually name that. But what I think about it like that because like price-wise, that makes more sense. The 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 4070 Ti being priced like you know like the 3080, and the 4080 being priced kind of like a 3090. You know, I think people would be much more accepting of those costs then. Also, people wouldn't say 60 class silicon because we have a 100 card. We've never had a 100 card before, I guess in the same way as we never had a 90 it's card before. To be free. Although people now would maybe compare it to a Titan. To but it's just like, you know, ultimately it's just name games. Like, what's the card, what's the price that you can get it for? Is it worth it? Who knows? Here in Australia, 
That 4070 still seems to be sitting all right price-wise. And I did a bit of a market lookup again, just to, like, you know, what graphics cards are out right now. And, uh, at least here in Australia, the best card you can get is a RX 6700. You can get one for, like, 465 bucks? Australian? Uh, that's kind of just the best card you can get for this price. Also, here's a challenge. Oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. And you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night. So you have to somehow break down the door. Uh, we've almost gotten there, but uh, there we go. The last day to. Look at those music notes go though. Imagine your music being so loud it cracks stone. Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to go into the temple. You ought to go into the temple. So, uh... So anyway, there's this whole area down here. Yeah, Spyro! There's this whole area down here. Actually, there's a whole area all over the place with all these earth shapers. And in particular, Hunter's just chilling there like... Just stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, hi, Spyro. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'd appreciate it mightily if you could locate that alchemist. He owes me a favor. <laughs> just, just legs in the stone. And he's got a bow, which he uh, brings back in Spyro Hero Style. I don't know why he's got a bow here, but sure. Now, the Earth Shapers, you can't kill them. Uh, they were in the other level as well in Magma Cone. You can't kill them, but something can kill them. Every Earth Shaper can be killed in some way. Uh, this is... Man, I've said this multiple times. This challenge annoys me, but we'll get there. Yeah, I've been experimenting with this potion. I'd like to test it out, but the Earth Shapers out there have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Why, yes. I will be Great. your escort. Just keep those earth Man shapers away tunic. from me, and I'll take this potion to Hunter. Okay, sure. Uh, so anyway, zoomed out camera yet again. Uh, this is kind of annoying. You're gonna hear the earth shapers go when they start focusing on this guy, and he's gonna like just bait you. He's just gonna. Oh, ah. Have you already played a Sonic game this year? I have. You missed out. I was talking about Sonic Adventure earlier. I beat Sonic Adventure. Will you escort? And I beat Sonic Adventure 2 just at it because I was going on the achievements for that. I might try and, and clear the retro achievement set for Sonic Adventure 2 because it doesn't seem too bad. But I am struggling at doing the uh, the boss rush without dying. Um, oh. Now it's okay if you get hit. But this guy can't get hit. And he's just like, look at this part. Look at this part. So... What? What? Whoa. He doesn't quite walk up to all of them as well. It's just a little far enough for some. But that one is he's, he's too close. Here he goes, here he goes. Whoa. You, you see that? You see that bait? Whoa. No, 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 no. And I got hit! Wow, really? <laughs> really? Weird. <laughs> Well, that was a bit of a weird outcome, wasn't it? But like, oh, this guy! Listen, okay, you know how people say, like, they hate escort missions in games? This is, this is the epitome. This is the escort mission. If you don't hate this... I swear. Okay, he's not close enough to that guy. He's close enough to this guy. You could, in theory, push them out of the way enough, but I think it's because, like, this guy he ends up going way too close. So I think... Is he close enough to this guy? No, he does. He does bail. You can jump. That's how you bait a swing, though. What a bait. What a bait. Alright, well, you got there. He got there in the end. Turns out he just got to pour some acid on his feet. Man, do my feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? And here's Hunter with possibly his 11th orb of the game. As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? 
Kick Earthshaper butt will do. All right. When I shoot an Earthshaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then press triangle. So, yes, you can't do this you until you've got the, the head bash ability. Uh, and friends. that's kind of awkward because you'll Let's do the go. first challenge, then get told off that you don't have the head bash ability, and then you have to just come back and do the challenge again. So, uh, so yeah, so we get to go around, we get to actually kill the Earth Shapers. Hunter goes around, shoots him with a bow. Oh! <laughs> You had bash him on the feet. It seems to work out. Hunter, unfortunately, is not. Whoa. <laughs> he's not patient. He's, he's already hidden the next one by the time you come around. Oh, and then it gets back up. Ugh. <laughs> I get like warped back. As long. From that one. Oh well. It's tricky, but I. I it's not as irritating as the um the escort. So hopefully, I start to see some nice conversations on the internet about uh, you know, hardware again. Because, oh boy, the amount of, like, YouTuber opinions. Oh. I'm, I'm generalizing very greatly, but it's like, I think there is a degree of these people just don't know what they're talking about. Here. They are parroting a point they hear from a YouTuber. But I'm a bit and it's like, annoyed oh, at him. And there's like a little more to it. And also, just like, you're focusing on the wrong bits. I'm not going to complain that a 4070 Ti is 60 class silicon when it's like, you know, it just performs like a certain way. The worst part is that the 4070 Ti was going to be a 4080. And I don't know, like, maybe you could say this is copium. As a buyer of a 4070 Ti, I'm like, yeah, no, it feels like the 80 card I was kind of expecting. That's about it. I'm like, yeah, sure, it's real stripped down compared to a 4090, but it cost me like less than half the price, so. Um, okay, all these trees and stuff are back. At least not the enemies. So with enough, uh, with enough uh, souls, you now have this supercharge. You have to take the supercharge and follow the road. Uh, don't worry, I'll go back for it. Make sure you've, you break down the barriers. Follow the jump. And follow the track. And then go into the door. Oh wait, you can go left. This is kind of weird. As a kid, I did not know what the skill points were. But I discovered this one. I do not know how, as a kid, I thought you should do this, but I did it anyways. So the skill point here is, I, I do memorize the route, yeah. I played this game enough times, I know. The, this skill point is you have to pass through that, like, supercharge gate. You basically have to do three laps, pass through that supercharge gate each time, and if you do that all without breaking your charge, that's a skill point. This is probably one of the trickier ones in the game, especially when you don't know how you're doing it. Oops. <laughs> I, I need it once more for actually doing the challenge. But yeah, that was the skill point right there, so... It's tricky. It looked probably like I knew exactly what I was doing, and I've done this enough times, but... Also, you can push the Earth Shapers by charging them, um, just like before. When you hit them with the supercharge, they go flying. I'll show off one of them. Bonk. You broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. Forever. I got this fancy orb in here. Please take it. Wow, an orb. Wow. Forty-five orbs. I listened to Metallica's seventy-two seasons today. Um, it's a very rare orb. Where are these people finding them? They're just like, oh, I just, like, found this today. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay. Um, I'm not gonna hit this guy, because he's not in a good spot. But, like, this guy. Look at that! Oh, well, okay, I kind of overshot him. Uh, but yeah, all these Earth Shapers down here, they've all got lava that they all can fall into. you just got to find the right place to get them. But it's good fun. 
It's good fun. I love it. Oh. Dude, the worst part is that you're not just getting squished, you're getting hit with a pickaxe. This is the most terrifying absolute earth shaker. Oh boy. There's a certain three letter acronym I'm not gonna mention. <laughs> And they deserve it though. They turned the satyrs into stones. That's my people. That's my bros. There's a lot of weird like lava bits over this uh, area as well. I think you might actually have to rely on the whirlwinds to like get you going to another bit, but. Yeah. There we go. So there's this other bit. Oh wait, yes, you need the supercharge one last time. Let's clear out the earth shapers first. I used to always think of Shakespeare was a Shakespeare. Shakespeare was a fake name because like, who else in the world is called Shakespeare? It's a, and it's a weird like name. I don't know. I, I don't know any other names like Shakespeare. I just thought of it after you know, hearing the word earth shaper. Uh, shaper. I'm pr I think it's Shaper. I'm pretty sure it's a Shaper. Uh, I'll rewind the video in a, in a bit, just to, just to clarify. But I'm pretty sure it was a Shaper. Sure. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's all the enemies as well. Yep, 29 out of 29. So, that's cool. So, there's a couple of gems to get. Uh, and I think somewhere in the ending area. Once more, one more lap, one more victory route. So, this level I would kind of hate as a kid because I think like the combination of the Alchemist kind of game and then also like the Supercharge, I'd always have some trouble with it. I think also just getting this chest is the most painful chest when you don't know how you're doing it. Because you've got to time those jumps real gnarly. It's not the comfiest platform to, to get around, but. Listen, when you're as old as me, and naive, and you've played this game way too many times, it's second nature. I don't think there's anything in Spyro 3 that's like, crazy uncomfortable to do, but that's probably famous last words for when I play it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just say when I play um, Enter the Dragonfly at some eventual later point, oh boy. And give us that final lo line. Oh, hi, Dragon Boy. You're probably expecting me to be all like, you're my hero. Thanks for saving poor, helpless little me. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Anyway, um, the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. <laughs> oh, that's how everyone in the 90s talked. Oh. <laughs> I'm missing gems. 11 of them. Very interesting 11. I got a hunch they're on like a platform in the middle. <laughs> the Cinderay? Yeah, exactly. It's not like I was enjoying your music or anything, Bucker. Is, is, is that what they say? <laughs> okay, so there's two there. Did I just see a sparkle in that direction? Might as well just wander over here. Hey, we're looking for gems. If you see gems, uh, hopefully I respond to that. Are there any around the back? Maybe I didn't work. walk around the back there. There weren't any down here. Oh, it's big, biggie. That's a neat level though. I do like it in the end. Hunter's just chilling. How you doing, Hunter? He's doing his best. I want to know what this organ sound is. Stuart, if you're still watching the stream, what's the organ sound? Also, what's that... What's that sound? How do I do all of this? How do I just recreate your sound font? Okay, 
okay, where's the gems? I feel like the... Man, what is this, the third time this, this stream? I'm doing eight levels and three of them. I'm missing gems. They must be above ground then. Above on the green, in the green area. Man, where could they be? Oh, really? Really? They were in the, <laughs> the hut right at the beginning. Oh, I knew I was taking this too, too quickly. Too fast. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I know. I know, right? <laughs> we gotta watch this ending again. It's classic. It's too good. It's too good. There we go. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, one more level. One more level for the stream, and then uh, that'll be it for the whole second world, basically. Very high poly dance. I only played the remaster once, off the top of my head. I, f <laughs> I feel like there's a nostalgia part of me that's this is the old Earth Shaper uh, model, but <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> they're very poly, they're very polygonal. Uh, to, so to the Shady Oasis we go. Alright, so this level, it's got one of those pots, so you gotta go backwards for the level, so it might be the easiest to... Uh, yes, yes, we did. Flame will charge the bush, yeah, we already, we already covered that one. Oops. We got these genies that throw those orbs at you, and these ones hurt. So we got like this pot over here. It's a kind of weird level though, because effectively what it does is that it like... It goes in a loop around the outside of the central area. There's a higher bit there, the ending of the level is up there, and uh, that's where it exits out to, but it goes anti-clockwise around here. Um, I'll explore down there in a, you know, later in the level as well, because uh, that'll be a better time. What's so these guys? <laughs> Starry eyes. Whoever invented the seeing stars in your eyes when you're, when you're dazed? What exactly causes that? Proceeds to have 100% GPU usage for the dance. I, I wouldn't mind. Actually, I, I mentioned earlier I was playing Postal 2. And, uh, yeah, Postal 2 now has, like, so many graphics settings that you can just turn up to, like, ridiculous levels. And so, the one thing I found out as, like, a huge graphics card test is turn up the smoke effect. Or the fire effect. I'm not too sure if it was the smoke or the fire. You will kill your GPU. You will get, like, six frames a second on a 4070 Ti. You will absolutely, like, chug your graphics card uh, while doing that. At least, maybe, well... That was for me. I set fire to the marching band on the Tuesday. That's when it happened. So I think there were like 20 people on fire. Um, maybe that's why. Uh, definitely fun game though. But like that's that's what I love about like graphics and stuff is that like really like you could you can easily just like tank frame rate in a lot a lot of ways. The trick is just to find that balance between a game taking enough frames and looking good. Having the smoke effect- oh! <laughs> the easiest way to break that. <laughs> Having a smoke effect that uh, uses so much, you know, computational power. Uh, it pro probably isn't the most meaningful uh, thing you can throw into your graphics, but you know what? It's funny nonetheless. Usually 480p medium graphics is my sweet spot. 480p is a very interesting resolution because I don't think there were like monitors at 480p. 900p is a weird one. And I know they did a, like 1366 by 768. My favorite resolution. Yeah, that was a big like kind of divide between like where like monitor resolutions and like television resolutions. I if television even was in certain resolutions. You know, that'd be a bit all over Thanks the place for, for the actual the signals bush. coming in. Now we can eat berries all the time. All the Here. time. 
the one on his uh, 1080 from 2008. I think I, yeah. I think I had like a 1440 by 900, which was a 16 by 10 display. Um, back in like 2007. And then before that, I was legitimately, I'm not even kidding, I was rocking 800 by 600 monitor for the longest time. Spyro. Three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Gotta get the lamps, the wily thieves. So, yeah, this is the thing though, I guess. This game does not have egg thieves. This is probably the closest we'll ever get to egg thieves in this game. Just this one bit. Um, they reuse it in the third game a little bit more. But uh, in this game, nah, it's just that. So, whoa, be careful, don't just like leave the level. Um, so yeah, here we go after this little raised section here. Do I actually have enough for the- oh, I have enough of this. This is another challenge. My eight brothers have been trapped in rock, and will sink in the lava if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping, then pressing triangle, and follow my lead. This is another one where you gotta- Follow me, and remember- Follow his lead and head bash. And then press triangle to head bash. And again, the other- the other thing you need head bash for. Also, you must rescue them or they will drown. Almost successful. Almost successful. Well, they come out again, so is it really that bad? Who knows? It is goop. It is poopy goop. It's, it also it says follow his lead, but I don't know, man. You just kind of go around in a circle. <laughs> it, it doesn't really go very far. I have a big family, but you've managed to save all of them. How come the hippo has wings? Too. I'm too tired to carry it anymore. Also, excuse me, I'm too tired to carry the orb. This is a lot of orbs, by the way. I think uh, we'll get one more. Yeah, one more. That'll drop us off at 47, which is nearly three quarters of the orbs. I know I passed 32 sometime in the middle of the stream. Yeah, you get a lot of orbs. So to save them from drowning, you head bash them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, that reminds me. Has anyone seen the clip? Uh, I don't watch television at all, but there's a clip from, um, I think it's like 911 Lone Star. It's like a cop show. And, uh, the, the premise, oh, not even the premise. I don't know, but like, I think the plot that I get is that there's a firefighter character who's a regular for the season. And he, like, uh, is trying to, like, date this woman who is married. And anyway, so there's this one bit where the man in the relationship fell in, or, like, went into his cryotherapy chamber. And the cryotherapy chamber was set to zero degrees Fahrenheit instead of 32, and therefore it froze him. So they rescue him out, and before the paramedics get in there, the... The, uh, the firefighter guy is like, I got this, I'm performing CPR. And just as the paramedics walk around the corner, he pushes into the frozen person's body and it decides to like crack open like it's the freaking like chest thing in the thing. <laughs> it's just like the silliest sound effect. It sounds like paper ripping. Uh, the silliest like visual, because it's like, that's not how a frozen person would work. Like, like it'd be like, a frozen like bag of peas it'd just be like a hard blocky object you wouldn't like be able to push into it and just like push a hole into it that's not how it works also the bro's pretty dead he, he, i don't know man he's probably pretty dead he head dashed the thing on tv oh, and and it's just it's so hilarious as well because the moment he does it he just like gets up he's like oh, oh, oh. and like the paramedic comes in it's like just giving him this like look and then she puts a stethoscope on him it's off camera but she pulls out a stethoscope and it's like what are you what are you putting the stethoscope on the hole that's in his chest also like you would clarified he had no pulse so like which is why you were doing the cpr but you probably wouldn't be doing cpr on a frozen person anyways but like like, it's the most bizarre 30 seconds of television you will find in a long time. Someone wrote it, a bunch of people acted in it, and it's incredible. And I don't know anything else about the show. But oh boy, I want my silly cop shows. I want more of that, please. And the, the best part is that the, the whole 
reason why they've set that up is now it's like, oh look, the firefighter who is dating this woman who was married to this man suddenly now appears that he's killed the man. I see the drama. I see where they're coming from. Oh boy, that, it's just it's just hilariously silly, so. So we're almost done with the level. Unfortunately, almost done with the string. But one last thing to do is get that last that last uh, lamp thief. It was just chilling somewhere in the middle here. I've just been wandering like back throughout this level. Um, so hopefully it's not like too confusing where everything is situationally. But at least they color code these areas. Oh. This flame is back. Yeah. The flames seem to reach a fair bit in front of you. Whoosh. <laughs> Thanks for bringing back the three magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. No shine. So we have 47 orbs. And that's that. That's this level done. And the entire second world done now. That leaves not a, uh, not a lot of game left. Not as many levels as I did on this stream. But I feel like this was a good time. This was a good, you know, amount of content. Less than an hour before midnight, it's been a nice stream. It has, yes. I will still recap, I, I do still super enjoy this game, and I haven't really been ripping into too much other than, I guess like, I've been pulling the nostalgia card a fair bit, just going like, oh, I love this music. Oh, I, I had like terrible, you know, b a bad time as a 10 year old or even younger trying to do like some of these levels. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so just to do a, a uh, short recap, um, you know, there we've got the, the Long Glide in the Autumn Plains, Hub World, uh, Skillless Badlands, <laughs> Dem Bones, that's, that's cool. Uh, in the Crystal Glacier, there was George the Snow Leopard, that was cool. Uh, Breeze Harbor, Trouble with the Trolleys, eh? All the goods. Uh, Zephyr had four orbs, did anyone realize that? They both had two phases to them. That's interesting. Uh, Scorch had, uh, the, the, the naked guy with the diaper throwing bombs at me, you know, as you do. Fracture Hills, uh, dang it, Alchemist, in the three laps. Uh, Magma Cone, uh, had murder at the end. Cold-blooded murder, or hot-blooded, I guess, because he fell in lava. And Shady Oasis had, uh, catching the, the three thieves and all that stuff. And then, uh, a Metro Speedway involving dropping bags of money in water. And lastly, the Icy Speedway, which involved uh, very janky uh, paragliding. And of course, the feeding goal. So, we've now got the Winter Tundra to go, uh, which does not have that many levels. You can see it says four, but there's, I think there's a speedway somewhere there. They really try their best to fit all the... I'm pretty sure these, like, text elements are closer on this page than they are on this page. So, uh, but yeah, that's everything with uh, this hub. And uh, I think that'll be a good place to call it for the stream. So I would like to thank you very, 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 very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, uh, you can follow here or subscribe on YouTube. Or when I say here, on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, then here is also YouTube. So Twitch and YouTube, they're there. Uh, you can follow random ramblings I have on my Pleroma. Um, that's at m.bnda.com. I've got a link in places, you'll find it, don't worry. Um, and yeah, if you miss parts of this uh, on stream, the VOD will be out very soon, so never fear, you'll always be able to watch it back. Uh, a lot of people watch back the, the VOD on Twitch as well, which is always a thing. But yeah, if it disappears from Twitch, if anything ever disappears from Twitch, it's all on YouTube. So, all that's accounted for. Uh, so yeah, I think there'll be one more stream of this, uh, but it'll be May next time, May 1st. So, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late. Um, and, ne and remember, don't have trouble with the trolley, eh? Don't do it. You know, we call them like shopping carts, not- Oh, we do call them trolleys. Americans call them tro shopping carts. Oh yeah, and have, have a nice Anzac Day, everyone. April 25th. Have a good one, everyone. See ya!